What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boys. We are back. Yes, we are back again, my friends. We are the Tapped In Sports Podcast. It's your boy, Mr. D, back for another great week, back for another great show. I got my guy, DJ Trap, in the building on the ones and twos. As always, we are rocking. Sports seasons are in full effect. We know we got a lot jumping off tonight. How you feeling tonight, my brother? Oh, I'm feeling blessed, blessed. I look at him. As you can see at the bottom, my boy, he got Detroit versus everybody. So you already know what type of time he on. Um, every week, we got our traded topics. We got some NCAA football, NFL. Are you confident or are you concerned? So NCAA basketball, we got to kick it off like this. This week, we're going to start it off with the NFL. Got to chop it up with my guy. Got to talk about it. Trap, what are some of your biggest takeaways from week nine in the NFL? All right, man. Week nine was a crazy week. Pretty much, I feel like week nine started separating some of the pretenders. They got rid of the pretenders out of there and showing some of them pretenders. Pretenders Everybody. like who? I don't know. I guess like the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. Uh, I mean, I know you want to expect the Arizona Cardinals. Okay. So these are your surprise teams. These are the teams that's contending right now. I wasn't surprised about Washington. I came on this podcast before the season started and told you about Washington. I know you're surprised about Arizona because you do not have Arizona leading in the NFC West. No, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely surprised by Arizona, but the way I look at it, the whole division is right there with everybody in the division got with four wins, except with Car- um, the Cardinals. They got five. I don't think they had a bye week or something. Yeah, so like it. So the whole division's right there. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest with you, who I think might win that division is the old man himself, old gunslinger, my boy Matthew this? Stafford. Stop it. The future Hall of Famer, I'm sorry, future Hall of Famer Matthew Stafford. I can see him. I can see them possibly because they finally starting to get healthy. They be so. They cool. that, they'll be, depending on who they get matched up in the uh, playoffs. Puka, I don't know. Karen Williams. But they just got healthy though, Trap. They've been hurt for a long time. So stop it. Not like them. Like them folks barely had a goddamn team at one point, Trap. So they really now just get into their full mode. So I mean, we still got to see. We, we, yeah. man, we still got a lot of time, bro. We got to see. Man, like I said, them boys back. They've been whooping ass, taking names. They've they been doing decent. Okay, like three games in the street? Yeah. Boys cold. They decent. I got to talk to you about your guys. I want to know, man. I got to know. Are the Lions the best team in the NFL? Talk to me, Trap. I got the best team in the NFL. I don't know if that's even a question at this point right now. I feel like Oh, yes, it is. Because it's still a team that is undefeated out there. So let's that not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. That don't mean shit. To trap, me, trap. You better, you got to respect that, that, bro. You're right. I respect that because I respectfully put that man on the sideline, bro. You feel me? We whooped that ass last time we played. That's all I remember. That was, no, that was a discounted win, bro. Come on, yeah, they was not at full capacity. Discount, double check that shit. We whooped some ass. Trap, they was not at full potential the last time y'all faced them, bro. Yeah. Chris yeah, Jones was out there. Next time Travis Kelsey was not there. there. D, stop making excuses for these losses, bro. You oh can't make excuses God. for losses. All you can do is hold them, bro. That's the only thing you can do is hold them, man. Keep them dear to you. You feel me? And what I'm saying right now is Detroit Lions is the best team in football. Look at our offensive line, which means we can run it against any team, even that team out there in Darren, Missouri that you keep bringing up. We can, run it, we can run it on them. Do you stop. Saw Bur- Did you see Bucky Irvin last, the last game? Come on. It was an off game, bro. It's they had an off game. game. Everybody, game everybody is entitled to an off game here in their trap. It's going to be an off, off game when they play us, bro. Okay. Only thing I say, how y'all escaped Green Bay. But we didn't escape you... Green Bay. We beat the ass. It was not one point in that game. Oh you felt like, God, see, see, there was not one point in that game when you was like, damn, Green Bay can win this shit. Come on, D. You're not even being real now, bro. Uh, that was not one point in that game. Can play. I finish my thought, Trap? I'm just saying. I'm no, giving y'all can't. props. Y'all, y'all escaped Green Bay because I don't know what Jordan Love was talking about. I don't know what he had going. He was just doing too much and not enough at the same time. That's so y'all got. Is. So I just believe like he was a little nervous and y'all, no, you know, y'all caught him not. slipping. That's what he does, bro. He y'all caught him slipping. Don't he? Is he up there with him in the wins, though, sir? Talk to me. I mean, he don't need the wins. How? How you don't need the wins? And he trying he, to he get to the playoffs. playoffs. All you got to do is make the playoffs, D. 
Oh my God. Stop it. Stop it. But y'all not all the way clear in the NFC. So let's pipe down before we just talk about it because the Eagles are starting to turn the corner again. Yeah, not, yeah. Well, that's how they that. beat a team with a winning record, bro. Let's not do that. They starting to turn the corner again, hey, Trap. Let's not ignore the, the Eagles. Team. Saquon Barkley is starting to come into his own in their offense. Oh, he cold. So he's been coming to his own. He's cold yeah, as shit. Let's <laughs> not do that. So. D, all I'm asking, what's the last time they beat a winning team? They beat well, the Giants. They beat the Bengals. They beat the Browns. Those ain't winning teams, bro. Wins are wins. You can't help. Bro, I get it's wins are wins, bro. I get wins are wins, but all wins ain't equal. You feel? Kind of like when the Buccaneers beat y'all. No, the Bucks. I meant the Bucks. That, that was no equal win. It huh. was game. Ma- no, it was bad game management. I told you that when the game happened. I told you that when the game happened, it was bad game management. And you said, "No, the Bucks are just that damn good." You said that. I mean, they took us to overtime. They had us win. Who the fuck? It? Come on, man. That's yeah. just all. They should have won that game. No, we ain't going to say that now. They should They would have went. They should have went for two. Now, do you think that Tybo should have went for two? Well, I think Tybo should have went for two. I understand his thinking of not going for two, but you know what I'm saying? You just run the risk of it being in the hands of a, of a coin toss. And so far this season, the Bucks have went to two overtime games. They lost both coin toss, and they never touched the ball in overtime. Uh, that's cold bloody right there. Yeah, you they can't, can't catch a break. Game. You just drove down the field seventy five yards. You gotta might as well go and punch you in. Win the might game. as well, or at least try because you lost anyway. Hey, we riding the die, and because they had the Chiefs, they had them chasing, they had them on their heels, and they couldn't stop them. The defense, I don't know what was going on with Kansas City defense this game, but they did not show up. The one game that Mahomes got it cooking. He looking like he back in rare form. Now the defense don't want to play. Because if the defense would have came to play and match just a little bit of what Patrick Mahomes was giving, the game wouldn't even been close. That's but, a problem right there, man. You're not giving credit to Baker. You're not giving credit to the Bucks. I it's would just, just like, the- oh, man, if they would have came and played, they, I come to play, it wasn't that the Bucks are good on his offense shit. Man, I'm just saying, bro. They didn't do what they supposed to do. And only thing that really saved them was Todd Bowles not going for two. Because if they would have went for two, I honestly think that Baker don't want to beat them. Because they was in bad position the whole time. They had just got beat because they was tired. They, Baker don't had just drove them down the field. So, like I, I said, I'm giving them props. I also understand Todd Bowles thinking of not going for it, too. Keep in mind, they just stopped Patrick Mahomes. What you call that yeah. shit? Clutch time, and he didn't clutch. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you, you can't get him a second chance. You can't stop. You can. You know you cannot get that man a second chance. Stop. I don't know golf can. Man, get out of here, man. Golf do, man. Bro, I'm talking, about, man. I'm talking about recently. I'm talking about recently. In the past, it's the same ass whooping. I don't know. But it's no respect on Jared Goff. Yeah, he decent. He decent. So would you say that Jared Goff is the is the MVP right now? No. So, who, what, what, whoa. That's your quarterback. Put some respect on his name. Y'all willing and dealing with y'all 71? Yeah. Damn near the best offense. Number no two. Damn near. Right, y'all number two outside of KC. Uh, we know KC offense? Talking about the team with the quarterbacks throwing all the turnovers? Oh, my God. But he got all the wins, though. He got all you know, the my, wins. Did you know in the last six games, my quarterback got more touchdowns than incompletions? Y'all willing to deal it. Yeah, I, I can't lie. Y'all willing to deal it. But y'all really ain't played nobody neither. We ain't played nobody. We be all the teams you said, D, you came here. Oh, Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota, eh? Man, what we do? We stopped them boys. Them boys up in Seattle. They was cold. Remember y'all was talking no, about them? No, I didn't think I didn't think that, that Seattle had a chance to get y'all. I'm we not beat them that. niggas. I ain't well, gonna do that. The other member of this podcast said, oh, the Green Bay Packers, the division, they went in the division. So now y'all a team. Yes, we're a team. D-Hype. For the first time in, in, what, 60 years, 70 we years, been bro? We've been bro, a team. stop it. This y'all best start since 1956. Look at those trap. It's 7-1, D. D, it's 7-1. And, and, and this is y'all best eight-game start D. since 1956, trap. Okay, D, it's 7-1, though. You so ain't stop, like, so stop never so D, stop trying D, to pop like the last two D, years D, ain't been D, the best okay, years in, in line my football, bro. My bad, D. I'm sorry for never having a team. They're, they only lost oh, one. Oh, my bad. We, we had know. other good teams, though, D. You had, we never was good, D. We had 11 Burnley. teams. We don't we remember those. No, trap, D, trap. We don't, you don't want to acknowledge remember that, that trap. shit. We don't remember it, Trout. How can we acknowledge something we don't remember, bro? The Lions. 
You know how I know you remember it, D? Because you're a Cowboys fan. D, D, since the last time y'all went to the NFC Championships, the Panthers, they became a team, and they went to the NFC Championship. The Jaguars became a team, went to a conference championship. Goddamn. Who ain't been to a conference championship? The Bengals didn't been to one. Every, everybody pretty much, I guess, except what? The Dolphins, the goddamn the Redskins. Come on, bro. Y'all trash. So, and here so you before, go sitting here trying so to demolish So before last year, Trap, when did y'all go, Trap? No, there's not no before Come last on, year. Trap. You got to Come on, Trap. You, you trying to say we didn't pipe dream like y'all been relevant, bro. D, y'all have been relevant. That's the problem. D, there's only one other team that has a longer drought. Since the because it's playing the conference championship, who was that? That's the Washington Commanders, the team we played the before when we, when we went to the conference championship the time before last. That's crazy, boy. I can't, but Washington boy. looking good now, though. Oh, Washington looking good now, though, ain't it? Man, we ain't talking about that right now, man. So, real quick, I want to know who had the best in season trades this year in the NFL by far. The Pittsburgh Steelers, okay. The Pittsburgh Steelers went out and got a pass rusher. Somebody to help out. He's not a world beater, but he's going to help out with TJ. Apply a little pressure. Then they went and got them another receiver, which somebody like Mike Williams, a nice, fast, nice guy. That shit, it, that's about to go a long way for them. They didn't need a world beater. They just need somebody who can run out there and get open along with Pickens. And they got the best deep ball thrower in the game. So I think they really going all out and solidify themselves right there. Also, but not to be outdone, I think Washington also had some of the best mid-season trade this year, too. Them going out and get Lattimore, pretty much they went and turned Jonathan Dawson into Mark, uh, to Lattimore with a fourth-round pick. So they didn't went and got Lattimore. They didn't went and got some help for these boys. They going all in. It's, it's getting real out there. Watch this for real. Yeah, yeah. they getting decent. They I, I got to give them their props. They did go ahead with their Lattimore trade, go ahead and sew up their, um, their back end and try to go ahead and get some protection in the secondary. Uh... To me, I think the best one probably I, you're gonna be hating. But first, no, I'm gonna actually show some love to y'all. This area Smith, I think that's gonna be a good pickup. Of course, he's not gonna be able to replace Hutch all the way, but he's gonna be able to really help y'all out, help y'all sew up that end and, and be a, a disruptor. I think that may be the piece that's gonna get y'all to the Super Bowl. Of course, y'all not gonna win the Super Bowl, but uh, yeah, I think Smith is probably gonna be the top one. That, Probably the favorite one. And then, of course, I'm going to have to go Amari Cooper, number two, to the Bills. I think he just give uh, Josh Allen another weapon, another outlet. I think he was nicked up a little bit last week. I don't know how he's going to be looking going forward. I'm going to have to go Zedarius Smith, Amari Cooper. And then, of course, I got to get honorable mention to that boy D-Hop. Oh, D-Hop. D-Hop. Hopkins, baby. KC. Hey, man. I put that Dallas narcotic down for the season. So, you know, it's full steam. Three, three, three piece on them. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, time to go ahead and get that thing, boy. Let's go. I got more faith in Kamala Harris coming back and winning this election. Wow. Okay. We ain't going to need getting to that, bro. I'm just, I'm just saying, letting though. you know. I'm just letting you know how much faith I got, bro. And it's already that election over with. So, I'm letting you know how much faith I got in them, bro. Wow. This shit over uh -huh. with, bro. This shit over with. I know it looks good now. You can't win like this. You can't win with your quarterback turning over the ball like that. What you mean? He just had to get a couple of things cleaned up. Got to get Travis Kelsey back on the same page. They're not page. together, bro. They're not on page. The thing that's helping them out right now, they big as hell, is Kareem Hunt running that goddamn ball. And what's going to happen when they meet a real team? The only way I see the Lions beating them, y'all just going to have to come out and just run out. Y'all can't that's let it be do. no game. That's the best offense. Get the best offensive football. That's what we do. You haven't played Mahomes. Dude, we like just went through this shit that we played four playoff teams. I'm talking about play. Mahomes. I'm talking about Mahomes. Everybody look good till it's time to play KC. Everybody be ready till it's time to play KC. Trap. Did, did we look good last time we played Stop KC? It. The Ravens show up with that same bull. What did happened? We look good last time we played KC. The That's Bengals no. show up with that. every year trap. And what happened to it? D, did we look good last time we played KC? Yes, sir. Y'all look decent. Y'all did. Chris Jones went there. Travis Kelsey went there. You got a lot of excuses of why they Discount. Came Discount. Dollar Tree. Once again, shout out to y'all for joining us tonight. Me and my guy DJ Trap talking about the best NFL trades going on right now. We do this every week. Hey, can I get my dishonorable trade mentioned real fast? Okay, go ahead. Well, I got a dishonorable trade, man, for your team. 
even though you want to act like that ain't your team. But I, we I, remember, I, I, we keep receipts. We see that shit on the wall back there, nigga. You try to hide it. You try to cover it up. All oh, saying, I do not want to be on that avenue this year, bro. What All the right. fuck is the Cowboys doing? John Domingo about to change everything. I understand going to get him because he's a wide receiver on a rookie contract deal. I guess that makes sense. But come on. I feel like the Cowboys... Next year, forty six percent of your uh, or your salary cap is gonna be stuck with two players, and that's Dak Dying. Prescott and PD Lamb. All right, so why wouldn't you got a young Diggs on your team? You got Lawson on your team. True, and this don't even count for when you play Parsons and how that's gonna look as far as the salary cap. It's crazy. It's, it's gonna look stupid out there, man. It, it's, it's it's but it's y'all fault because y'all believe in that hype. I told you D all the shit y'all need to address. I said, D, I need to address that offensive line. D, I need to go get a running back. D, maybe I should go get something on defense. And you know what Jerry Jones said? No, thank you, sir. We're just fine. And then y'all come out here, and y'all getting whooped like the last game of last season. And y'all wondering, well, what the fuck happened? Everybody else went out and got better. Y'all went in. Y'all Derrick Henry sitting around in Dallas waiting on the phone call. We don't call him. Kareem Hunt was, they, Kansas City went and got Kareem Hunt all, off the couch. You know what I'm saying? He pinned up 100-yard games, but we didn't go get him. Saquon is out here jumping over dudes backwards. I, you can't even do that on Madden. And y'all didn't <laughs> try to go get him. You get what I'm saying? I'm just, y'all didn't try to go get nobody. The guys y'all went and got is your age, D. Y'all went and got dudes is your age to go play running back. You went and got Dalvin Cook. You went and got Ezekiel Elliott. If, the, if, it, if this was 2014, I swear y'all had the coldest running back backfield right now. But goddamn, it's 24. And, and I'm just saying, all, all this is bullshit, bro. And you, Mike McCarthy, he sit here with his fat ass. But he got rid of Kelly Moore because he wanted to see more out the offense. And, and look what we got, bro. We got boo. We, we didn't go get another receiver to help out C.D. Lamb. So pretty much y'all go out there every week and put it all on Dak and C.D. Lamb's shoulder. And then get mad when Dak and CeeDee Lamb can't be the whole team. I ain't right there, man. And, and, if you go, and then you sit here and y'all knew you wanted to play CeeDee Lamb. You knew you wanted to play Dak Prescott. And instead of just paying the boys, you I'm going to wait. I'm going to sign Dak Prescott during warm-ups of the first game of the season. Why not? We could have saved money and signed Dak. You could have signed Dak last year. You could have been signed. You knew you wanted to keep him. You could have been signed him. Ain't nothing changed about that from beginning to the end of the season last year to the beginning of the season. Ain't nothing changed, but yet you waited and pulled, waited. I don't know what you was waiting on, but you waited. Talk about you can't afford Derrick Henry $6 million. Goddamn idiots. How the hell you let Derrick Henry slide through your fingers? He wanted to be a cowboy. He be in Dallas. He, he was right there for the taking, and you did not get Derrick Henry. Derrick you know Henry. Y'all, I'm telling you exactly what Derrick Henry. You ever lay down with your chick, you know what I'm saying? And, and she wants something, but she don't want to just say it out loud, so she just throw the butt against you. That's what Derrick Henry was doing. He was throwing the butt against you. Y'all was just like, ah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not saying Derrick Henry fixes all the problems. I'm just saying with a with some kind of run game that opens up everything for Dak and C D Lamb to go to work. Go to work. And we can't do nothing because everybody knows who the ball going to. And they don't try to throw it to nobody else. Now they they don't try to throw Jalen Tobin in here, Ferguson here and there. But for the most part, we know where the ball is going. You're gonna try to run it. You can't run it. You're gonna get backed up. Throw the well, ball to CD. The Detroit Lions said their game plan was to stop CD and everything else is gonna work. And by God, we beat the brace off them niggas because that's what we're about. I'm talking about, and it got ugly. We already know. We ain't got to go back down that rabbit hole. How ugly we talking, though? I'm just saying, how ugly would it get from here on out? But now, now we sitting here, Dak is hurt for at least four games, according to the GM, Jerry Jones. Dak is hurt for at least four games. You got CD, who, who said he might push through and play for this, play during the Eagles game, but I'm not going to lie to you. If I own the team, I'm going to be like, shit, man, take your time before you come back, bro. We you hear me? We didn't invest a lot time. of money into you, so you might as well take your time. So now we're rolling out Cooper Rush and Jonathan Minga out there, and we're about to go out there and go to work. Man, we need Trey Lance. Come on, Trey Lance. 
And then another, that's another thing. Y'all wouldn't trade draft capital for Trey Lance and y'all quarterback get hurt and he don't even play. Exactly. What are we doing here? So how bad is he? Like, you, he got to be trash. For real. Like, but this is a move y'all made. Nobody made y'all do it. Y'all didn't need to do it. Y'all had Dak the whole time. Y'all was just like, hey, we're going to make a trade, go get a quarterback that we won't even use if Dak get hurt. These are the moves that these are the moves the Dallas Cowboys are making. And yet here we go. The Cowboy fans every year saying, Oh, this is the year. This is the year. Y'all clearly y'all not thinking or whatever the fuck the problem is going over there with Jerry Jones. It's just it's not working out, bro. Y'all not making moves. Y'all, y'all, y'all satisfied with with with, with, with what y'all had and not trying to get better. Everybody got better except y'all. Everybody got better except the Cowboys. As we are now on the list with, with the Panthers, we on the list with the Jets, we on the list with the Jaguars, we on the list with the Giants. Those are the teams. Normally, of course, we, we know Dallas is not going to do nothing in the playoffs, but in the regular season, we normally are one of the top tier regular season teams. This is what we do. This is what we know for the regular season. The Panthers is the team to beat the Chiefs, bro. Stop it, man. It's, 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 stop it, man. I, uh, the, the, don't do that. Don't need to put their mojo on, my boy, man. We're going to pull it through. I see them going 15-2, though. They're going to take some losses. Two of them. I think the Texans or the Bills. I think the that's Bills, probably going to be two. I don't know about the Texans, but the Bills going to be them for sure. Yeah, I think that'll be like two losses for the year. Everybody else getting wiped out. Yeah, wiped out. I'm in playoffs. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. You that. already know. I don't think they want to see the Bills or the Ravens in the playoffs. Stop it. You know what the Ravens do when they get to the playoffs? Mm. You know what they do. Stop they, it. Different. Okay, different in everything. And what they're going to do, still try to throw the ball. Then it's something different when people get in front of Mahomes, bro. They just get a little bit tight because they know at any given fuck up, it's over. It's I just over. want you to hear this, man. Brady won his first three in the same amount of time that Pat Mahomes did. Okay. And but you got to think about it. Pat Mahomes did go to an extra one. He went to four in the same yeah, time. It's so, Brady so, went to three. Yes, you're right, you're so, right. He was a loser before Brady. Hey, he, sometimes you got to slip up to get right. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes Brady got whooped that ass to get you right. Man, stop it. But stop. What, what, my whole point of bringing that up is Brady went on, and Brady's best year is Brady did not win a ring. Uh, I, I don't think people realize, like, everybody on the Mahomes bandwagon, but I don't think it's that sweet. What you mean? It's been sweet. Yeah, it's been sweet for Brady too. Okay, but he still ain't got he still ain't he got, got seven more, in he, one spot. He, do you not realize how crazy no. that is, D? He have more championships than any team in the league. There's not no other sport you probably can name a player who has more championships than any team in the league. Yeah, all right. come on, bro. That is three, crazy. Three three in a row. Pat Mahomes is the goat. So, do you think that the Colts moved? On from Anthony Richardson too fast. Do you think they benched him too fast? So they gave him a little bit more time to try to work it through, Fuck or are no. they doing the right thing? Huh? They doing, they doing the right thing. thing. They doing the exact right thing. These boys outside the last game, they went against a good defense. I, I get that part, but outside the last game, they lost every game by possession. They lost every mm. game by possession. They got a quarterback who, who statistically, completion percentage wise, I think he's the third worst quarterback to ever play this motherfucking game. And when I tell you that shit, what I'm saying is Jamarcus Russell was better than him. I'm trying to tell you that goddamn Tebow, all them, all these dudes you consider bad is right there with him. Ryan Leaf, all these dudes. Why wouldn't I put in Joe Flacco who looks significantly better than this dude? This dude, mm. think about it. You're supposed to be a leader, bro. You're supposed to be the leader of a franchise. You're supposed to be that man. And this man is out here tapping on his helmet to get tucking out of games. The mindset, I'm tapped out. By so, third and goal, you know what? Hey, I need a blow. I need a blow. I mean, he should have asked for a timeout. He should have did something before you could just he, he physically asked, check out. You can ask for a timeout. You can call the play. He the quarterback. So he decides when the play get hyped. So he could have went up there and just snapped the ball at one or some shit. Because offensive linemen don't come out either. Imagine being an offensive lineman and do you sitting here protecting your ass off for his ass then went and took a blow and went to the sideline because he tired. Like he tired. How, how you think crazy. Else do? That's crazy. Everybody tired, boss. We all out here working. What you mean? Like he tired. That's yes. crazy. He definitely needs some time to sit on the sideline, maybe evaluate what 
Joe Flacco is doing, what he's not doing, or whatever. Take this shit more seriously. That's what he need to do. Realize that this shit is a privilege. Like so a, guy, a guy who's tapping out a quarterback to go get a breather is, is somebody who don't take this game seriously. He don't. He thinks, hey, it's always going to be here. Why? You know what I'm saying? I just need a breather. There's nothing wrong with it. I, that's a guy who don't appreciate being here. And he need a breather. Team has a chance. And, and, and when you have a chance, you got to take You can't sit here and ask them to tank because you want to see him develop. But I blame them from the get-go because they knew him coming out of Florida. He didn't have that much experience. He didn't have that much time up under his belt as a college quarterback anyway. So you already knew he was going to be a development plan from the get-go. So why try to rush this man in thinking that he going to be that when you knew that he was potentially a project? Well, and so you know, now I don't feel like they rushed him in. I just feel like they didn't know he wasn't ready. I feel like, is it first house? These dudes is big. These dudes get, you know what I'm saying? This ain't college where, like, they these guys got other things to worry about, like school and all the other shit. These dudes are, are, are man, they coming to work every day. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, they, and we, so I think he underestimated that. And now he out there taking unnecessary licks so he can't complete, he can't finish games and shit. So I don't think that was on them last year. I think that was on him for trying to be Superman. And, and, and I get it. He's big as hell. So a lot of these big dudes got to be humble like that. Josh Allen. Yeah. Cam oh, dude, yeah. They realize, man, these dudes, I might be the same size or a little bit bigger than them, but I can't keep taking these blows because I got to throw. Then hopefully he can come back and try to try to rebound. And then possibly he can have a career like Jay Daniels having right now because your boy is on fire. So real quick, shout out to y'all once again. We are the Tap In Sports Podcast. Just jumping in fresh. My guy Big Dex in the building. What it do, bro? What it do? What's popping? Green Ram. Man, Green Ram. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He over there. What's the skull looking like? Hey, I don't know if Dex know we on air, but you got some shit on your shirt. I don't know if you want everybody to I see I got that the green. As long as it ain't no pissing. It ain't no pissing on my shirt. I ain't got no pissing. Oh, that's don't worry about it. That's coming, bro. That's coming. Bro. We're going to talk hey, about hey, some hey. business. It will be no Memphis Grizzly slander. Oh, so y'all let y'all was all gung-ho for the king. But y'all let Lamelo Ball go ahead and bust y'all ass tonight, then. I don't hey, want to rap. Hey, Lamelo been busting everybody, bro. He been busting everybody. Y'all, y'all don't want to rap. Y'all want to give LeBron everything y'all got. Y'all ain't say nothing in the clip of Melo. Melo, cold. As long as the knees get that. right and them ankles, so we all right. All right, so we're going to leave the NFL right there. We're going to come back, circle back on there for your dicks. But I got to jump into the NCAA. Football is going down most definitely. Last weekend, a lot of things went down. I need to know. No, before we go into your biggest takeaways, I just got a question to ask. Is Oregon the new king of the Big Ten? I want to call them boys. I want to go see the person, B. I had to go see the person. I went up there to go see the person, man. Outside the boys cheating us. I'm gonna let you know the boys they, got away. <laughs> Hold on. What they cheat y'all in? I, I wanna see what the cheat was in. It was a touchdown. They called a touchdown when they won the catch. Oh okay. really? how much they beat y'all by? Ten? What is it? Oh okay. A lot? So they still would have booked they still would have y'all in by three or something or whatever. Oh they beat us by 14? 14. Oh, okay. It didn't matter. I hear you. No, no, it didn't so matter. See, our coach, I hate to go back to the theme of this show that I've been trying to press to be all team is Dallas Cowboys. Do you know how the Dallas Cowboys ran that reverse on fourth down for no fucking reason when they could just... Um, hey, chill out, bro. My coach did the same thing. They could ran a reverse throw to the quarterback on like fourth and third with the game on the line. Yeah, we can't coach either. But Oregon is... Oregon is Blame the black man. That's what we do. That's what we do. Blame the black man. Oregon is nice, though. Oregon is a great team. They got a run game. They got a quarterback who's really nice who somebody on this show... Trap. Trap, what did I tell you before the season? Before we even get into all this bullshit, what did I tell you before the season? Now, I said, when y'all start losing, don't blame the black man. Well, what you doing? It's all his fault. Yeah, he gone. He needs to be. Nah, oh, nah, he nah, Come nah. on, Trap. Don't do that man like that. <laughs> y'all got to get it, man, some time. He, he gone, bro. When y'all lose this week, you gonna be saying the same shit about your coach that you was out here. Oh, yeah, because hey, if we don't beat LSU, it's over with. Bro, gotta go. <laughs> Bro, gotta roll. Y'all coach, hey, your coach gotta say he got a contract. Our coach, I can't but, nah, nah. but D, what he tell me? He said the black man beat O State. He said the yep. black man was good because the black man yeah. beat O State. It don't hey. matter. Nothing else matter. Yeah. He done proved himself. 
That's what Trap told me. He said the black man fooled himself. I ain't going to lie to you right now. Be the only way that man can save his job right now. I'll be Ohio. Let that be Ohio. Since Oregon, the new king in the Big Ten, are they the national champions? No. Okay, so who no do you think are the biggest threat to them? Are. They, well, they're not the king of the Big Ten. Let's not, we're not about to go through here and be like, damn, they beat Ohio State like Georgia beat Texas. Or they beat Ohio State, Alabama got beat. You know what I'm saying? The Man, one, chill out, bro. Why I'm Alabama? Could, why you could say like how Alabama beat Georgia? I'm you see how you have to Alabama beat Georgia. I'm just, I'm, I'm using oh, the hey. No, no, let's get out, get out to Phyllis. Get out to Phyllis, y'all lost. I'm saying, what I'm trying to say here is, they ain't just, oh, if that game against Ohio State got played anywhere else, it might have been a different result. Let's not just go out here and be like, damn, they out here just stomping on the Big Ten. You know what I'm saying? Like, that game, they won by one. If that game was anywhere else, it would have been a different game. Let's just be real. Your logic is if they played Ohio State and Ohio State, they would have won. But since they played Ohio State and Oregon, that's why they won. Nick, what the? Wasn't the difference of that game? Uh, what? What, what causes false start? Oh, the crowd? Okay. So, so, so is that saying – but you just told us to get over a loss because we lost to Alabama. Y'all didn't lose because of the Alabama fucking crowd, nigga. Y'all got your ass beat, nigga. This is a one. I'm talking about a game that was not about by, one we lost point. Seven. We lost by seven. One we point. Are okay, y'all lost I, by that last time. Time. So y'all I lost mean, by a whole know, touchdown. But y'all a whole touchdown. I'm talking, about a, uh, I'm talking about a game where a safety could have won them the game. It was They won. Uh, it, it, one score matters more than another now. But... D, I, I, see, I don't, Dex, I don't get this. Dex, if I, I beat you by a touchdown, bro. This nigga here. Did you see this? You see this? You see this? Mm, what my mm. what what my boy Lotus Luck say? That's the difference between metaphors and real rap. D, if y'all lost to, to Alabama by one point, you would not listen to an Alabama fan tell you they better than you. But since y'all lost by I, I, seven lost points, by one touchdown. We lost by one touchdown, and I don't get a fuck what they talk about. Ain't shit you can say about it. So, 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 you think Alabama doesn't No matter how garbage we are this year. We is. Oh, yeah, yeah. They proved that shit. What what was it, D? 11 out of 10 times already? (laughs) Gang. I'm just saying, you can't say they not better since 07. Y'all only beat them once. I'm talking about right now. How many wins and losses they got? This year. They got one more loss than y'all. Here y'all go shitting on these niggas. They got one more loss than y'all. I ain't gonna lie. The win is a win and a loss is a loss. They, they, they bandit lost two losses, though. I ain't gonna even lie, bro. We lose to LSU, we out of there for sure, for sure. Oh, y'all y'all really, y'all yeah, really at 500 right now. Yeah, hey, 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 hold tight. The LSU boy. Alabama game, yeah. loser going yeah, let's, Loser let's, don't make Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> what if Georgia <laughs> lose? What if Georgia get upset by Ole Miss? We still there. They gonna, we still there. Because they the committee, the committee look at that Texas win as a big win. That was a big win. I can't just like the only thing saving y'all is that little win y'all got against us. Hey, 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 the only thing saving y'all right now. That's the only thing saving y'all. That's the only thing got y'all ranked that high because they still got to get Georgia. They prop. Hey, hey, so we we, we, we go down to LSU and shock the world this weekend, man. Bama is back. Back. You been beating there since what 2012? But this not this so, not the same. So what you saying is so what you saying is Ohio it's State on y'all team. ass. That's what I heard. No, I didn't, Dude, that's what you they heard. Beat us in four years, nigga. You said since 2012. No, I. I'm LSU only beat Alabama once, since, but that was Joe Burrow year. That's all I'm, I'm saying. Trying to see We've been I'm these trying niggas to see haven't beat us so, in so, four so, years, so, so. and you still so talking about this? Nigga. What the so fuck are you doing, bro? The numbers don't matter. Them niggas ain't beat us in four years, face. deep. What about this yeah, year? Don't what about this year, Trap? I'm saying, well, what about this year? It can still happen, though, right? It, it could. Jesus okay. could come back right now, I was just too. making sure. You know what I'm saying? Sound like, <laughs> sound like the same thing going to happen. Yeah, you know you're going to get your ass whooped this year, man. Come on, now. I, I, I know I'm going to get my ass whooped. Oh, every, my God. Everything back to normal. The only reason I feel them is because we on the road. But I, I still think At we night. can get them. It'll be a close game. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be a close game. I see us winning by three, probably on the walk-off field goal, something like if that. It's going to be Nick a tight. Saban, I probably believe y'all. It's going to be tight. If we had Nick Saban, it would be a blowout. 
most definitely it's blowing the doors off. But we got Kaylee in the board. So at my faith meter, I was real high on him, but now it's midway now. That's why I say but, if he lose you, this week, it's you, a wrap. You, I just got a question. You, three wrap because somebody told me that the Du Bois guy was what they were missing in the offseason, and he was gonna keep the ball rolling. But now all of a sudden it's the coach fault. I'm seeing these two cats up top, Ju. Yeah. It's a lot of backbite. You know what I'm saying? Lose, lose, hey, lose the changes yeah. everything. It's a lot lose of changes. <laughs> lose the changes everything around here, bro. Yeah. Man. So you blame the coach, man, for that, that quarterback with that run first mentality? Yeah, I'm talking about the play calling, the defensive scheme. That's coaching. Yeah, I'm blaming the that, coach. The quarterback the coaching the playoffs, staff. Right? Man, he don't know. He reckoned Wait, up a Ferrari. The nigga ain't time never drove a stick shit before. Which defensive scheme you talking about? It was the wrong package or something? The, the same game. defense that held y'all to how many points in the first half? You know the coach. Talking about that defense? That's I'm, the same I'm defense about, now. I'm talking about the defense. That's the same that defense that didn't let y'all do nothing in the first the, half now. At the end of the game, when that motherfucking clock says zero, 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 what, how many total yards we had? It don't matter. Who had the dunk? That's all that matters. Oh, Who had the dunk? The whole That's game. all that Who had the dunk? We talking about a small part of the game? Didn't they hire the guy? How many points y'all score on that man in the national championship? I think we still scoring. Whoa, no, I no, mean, I no, thought no. Thought. Y'all ain't like scoring at all. Y'all ain't like scoring shit no more, Trap. You're done. So this, this <laughs> stop there. When was this the Brewers guy hired for defense? Now all of a sudden he's a defensive coach. You want him to coach defense? I said you coach staff. staff. I said coach staff. You said yourself, D. D. You said I didn't hear coach staff. staff. I don't he know. Know. He's going to open them up even better. You you definitely said all this shit. Uh-huh. The coach is... Cannot I, make I, I it was all good. It was all good in August, man. Then all of a sudden we get to November. It's a lot of ain't the same, man. Nothing hey, the same. Hey, hey, like, hey, 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 yeah. hey, that's enough for my coach. Much, you see how big coach, that Texas man. D. You see how big that Texas win we're on them? They walking in here with their chest out. Even though you booked that. Ass heavy, heavy, about that Texas. I mean, we that's all heavy. know Texas was good yeah. though. I we wish I Texas wish y'all could have a, a signature win. Hang y'all hat on instead of all these yeah. L's that y'all got over there. I wish y'all we got, could, we, bro. We be USC. I wish y'all knew what was winning. We yeah. be USC, be LSU, so we pretty much be LSU. You be USC. Who <laughs> be LSU? Y'all pretty much be LSU. We pretty much be the LSU. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, Trap, y'all done defending that championship, my nigga. Man, I swear. <laughs> they said they done defeated that motherfucker out. We come to the old stadium. They be like, and defending that so champ. We still I'm got pretty, the young man. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty hey. sure that championship in the mail and on his way to his new owner. Right. <laughs> that's just, that's just, that's hey, no more defending, man. Hey, on, man. Just, we like Biden, bro. We like Biden. We still the president, nigga. <laughs> Even though we can't hey. not be there, we still there. No, just, no, really not. <laughs> Real quick, all right. So we was talking about coaches and how about my coach ain't hitting no. But it's one coach out there that's got a lot of heads turning. A lot of people thought my unk wasn't talking about nothing, but oh, Dustin oh, Winstreet proved that Coach Prime is a legit coach. All right, because a lot of people was down on him, not just Dex, but a lot of people out in the media talking he a showboater, he not really a coach, but hey. He looking like he may be able on to the win podcast. This year. He may be able to win the Big Twelve this year. So is he now I mean, quick finally? Question. Yes. What is his biggest win? Oh my God! What did he beat? What Arizona? Wow! Yeah. He beat a basketball team. Oh, okay, man. Come on, <laughs> man. Oh, I did, man. Conference is basketball teams though. The main lost to Nebraska. I ain't trying to hear all this shit. Let's move on. They were decent at week two. They was ranked at the checking. time, Dix. I'm just bro, saying, bro. First of all, he I can mean, lose but they got ranked no more, right? It's a Big Ten team school. You can lose to a Big Ten team. Look, he's only lost to Nebraska no, and can't. Kansas State. And that Look. Kansas State was a given. And, but and it was I only mean, by three points, yo. He can't. Yeah. He only lost so to them by field goal, bro. Yeah. So he can't beat good teams. He so beat he's Arizona. Good. He beat Arizona thirty-four to seven. Who the fuck is Arizona? Man, they was right. They was Come right. On, Arizona was decent, You can't though. sit here and be like, man, he can't be good teams, yeah. and he be the ranked team. So, and be so like, you're really saying, okay, so wait, 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 Trap, if, you, if Michigan and Arizona played today, who win? Arizona. Arizona beat Michigan today. Nigga, we ass. So Arizona beating y'all today. Yeah, only team we beat is Ohio State. No, nah, I'm saying. No, nah, why are you dancing? Quit all this tap dancing, man. Hey, hey. Dex, Dex, you trying to tell me, you see how much they scored? And you think we can keep up with that shit in Michigan? To be honest, bro, y'all defense wouldn't even allow that man to get down there like that. Bro, all he got to do is get put up 20. 
He won. We Bro, can't score y'all are not letting Shadour Sanders dance. Y'all have not let a – y'all ain't let – no. you didn't let Jalen Milrow dance like that. But you're going to sit here and say y'all would let wait, Shadour wait, whoa, dance? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, you can bring up right. last year, but I can't bring up last year. Hey, you brought it up, so you opened the door. So I brought it up. He said he just so ran he, through that bitch. In your mind, Shadour Sanders is a better quarterback than Jalen Milrow? Yeah. I ain't got nothing to say. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one, Trap. We ain't oh. I got to see a game. I'm not going to say not. Only thing America I ain't, better. I'm like, hey. Can we get back to prime, man? I'm trying to see why Dex is. Dex, I mean, shit, Dex. You don't want to give him flowers. You don't even want to give him a fucking rose petal, man. At this point. <laughs> I ain't getting that nigga thorns, bro. I'm God, not. Why, <laughs> what, what you need a damn, Dex? I mean, he got to be a Nick Saban first or something. He just acts as he a legitimate coach. He just here's, acts as he's the greatest thing. of all time. Here's my thing. Here's my thing, bro. And I'm, I'm talking to you, Drew, because you a fighting ass nigga. And this is why I'm saying that. <laughs> so when a cat tell you, because you know your past, you throw hands. So when a cat <laughs> come up to you, all right, that's why you laugh. You know where I'm going. So when a cat yeah. come up to you talking about how many asses he done beat, how tough he is, yeah. you believe him. It really don't matter if I know he ain't beat my ass. Now, hey, see, that's why we tapped that. See, y'all do a lot of y'all ready for y'all too ready for the step show on Saturday. The job is question. Y'all put too much there. Y'all do it too much. Now let's get to the can we get to the meat and potatoes? What, what, what I'm doing? saying though, this is what his second year? Yep, yep. second year. His second year. But, and his second year, he up to he's up to I'm six years. Dex, 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 Dex huh? keep proving you wrong every he's, step of the way. He's, he's up to six wins now. How many wins you say you get that? My own luggage and it's Louis. And he's that ranked heard. now. That Louis got him ranked. So, he is so, ranked. So number now. 24 is so number 24 is Louis luggage now. So number 24 yeah. is ranked. He better than Michigan. I was yeah, 24. From where they was. Right now, right now, right now they sitting at a 3.3 to 1 ratio touchdown interception. It's not Ooh, the same football team insane. as it was when he first got them. They, they not. play a defense. Ooh, that defense, they, they, come on. They play defense, defense now. Defense. Marginal scoring has hit trunks since last year. They're they really playing now. How many, hey, making hey, progress. Hey, bring them stats up, D. How many yards a game they have? 364. 364. 364 yards they allow a game. How many points they, they allow a game? Four, they averaging 404. Okay, and how many points they average a game? 31. And Again, this is a great How many this points is a good, they allow? All right, this is a good margin, 22. That's a good margin, dude. Come on, Dex. That's two scores, Dex. That's two scores. When you walk into the field, when you walk on, when you walk off the bus, you can score three touchdowns on them. I'm just saying, I'm a George Bulldog. I'm a George Bulldog. We can do numbers. They're averaging. Check this out. They're averaging nine point four more points than their opponents. So a touchdown and less than an extra point. That's two extra points. That's a touchdown and two extra points. <laughs> hey, bro. He said that's two extra points. Y'all want that man to piss on y'all and call it champagne. Who am I to stop? Wow. Crazy, man. You got to get it, man. He's respect. He has proven. I ain't got no respect for him. Here's my thing. He belongs. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. And this will always be this two lane coach. Did not walk in there saying he Come got on. luggage. Oh, yeah, he man. We going back to this. I don't remember two lane coach. Two lane coach is not. He's not. You right. He winning. He winning. And he still what winning. What y'all doing? He right. He got two losses. Boy, that boy ain't beat nobody but garbage. <laughs> Come on, man. Boy, be number trash. Be not as I. I gotta go out he don't make the schedules, Dick. He don't make the schedules. You right, and he knew that wasn't up to him. Baby, it wasn't. It wasn't no offers like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You I mean, right could... there wasn't no offers for their sorry ass. Ain't nobody really. Man, like really, that. man. Okay, we gonna leave it right there, man. Shout out to y'all once again for tapping in with me and my guys. We are the Tapped In Sports Podcast. Still talking about NCAA football, and like my guy Dick said, like we've been saying, my guy, my unk is ranked number twenty four, and they did just have the playoff rankings, the first one of the year. So tell me your thoughts. How do you feel? Tap, tap in. Let's go. It don't matter. I, I know we don't want to mention the top two is the Big Ten, but the top two is the Big Ten. Wow. Now that matters to you. Okay. Uh, I'm just okay. saying what the fuck it is, bro, because I know that question's coming up. I just want to let you know. Okay. 
That top so, five. How, hey, how many big tens in the top five? Hey. Two. Same amount. Okay. We got the this same amount in the top twelve. The top this 12. The play, this the playoffs. This ain't, you know, BCS series. Like it's, it's multiple teams now. Let's not just talk about the top two. The playoffs, some of the shit we won last year. Okay. Here we last go. Year, trap. Here we so, go with the last the, year. We're on a winning streak and we not it's cool. Here, we, here we go the last year. He don't want to stick to this season. Forget it, forget it. I I talked about this hey. season. Yeah, you telling me? Come on. Okay. Anyway. Hey, um, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, of course, I, I've been pretty much wrong about Florida State. Of course, pretty you know, much. Texas minus the the loss and whatnot. You know, what I'm saying they still top five. I still think they top three in the country. Miami right now, they they having a little snub. I still think they top three in the country. Of course, we know Ohio just gonna get bumped up there as, as usual. But I got them top five, but not it's it, not number two in the country. They and Oregon, it's only a matter of time before they fall from the top as usual. Georgia be back up there, man. Number that one. That's some real hating ass shit right there. And a non-hating ass take right now, because o- Ohio State clearly beat the number six team in the country and lost to the number one team by one point. They clearly deserved to be up there. It wasn't like well, – it well, wasn't- Trap, I just said Oregon is going to fall. So, I don't – me, I when you was doing all that fucking hoopla and shit – I didn't say anything. I actually still have Ohio State better than Oregon. That was Dex that was going against you. I still have Ohio State like top five. I don't even have Oregon top five. You could be wrong still. It's cool. I got, <laughs> I got Penn State up there. Penn State. No, man. Penn State. Penn, Penn State, State cannot win the big game, bro. Penn Get them State. out of there. Penn State cannot win the big game. I, I, don't, I, don't, have them it. Like, I don't have them like one or two. I just said I have them up there like number five, maybe. No, oh. they should be number 10. Or 10. Yeah, they should be well, down towards the 10. Trap, what, if Michigan had something to say about it, what number would they be? We don't play Penn State. Y'all don't play Penn State ever? Not this year. Okay. Like you told me <laughs> any other year doesn't count, so not this year. You say any other year doesn't count now? That what you just told me. Oh, okay. I was just asking his story. I'm telling you, we didn't ask champs. And he was like, hey, okay. that shit don't matter. So if that okay. shit don't matter, nothing else matters. But my opinion on this shit is the committee love Alabama. Boy, they say Hey, Alabama, hey, boy. we ain't even saying nothing about Bama, bro. We you just talking about, about, the, about. You asked me about the college rankings. I'm just telling you, number 11, you know, it's hot. Wow. So what number I'll, would you would put us in? I put y'all probably closer to LSU, 13, 14, down their way. Because. I mean, y'all got the Vandy's a horrible loss, and I get it that Georgia is a great win, but come on, bro, y'all, y'all out here, y'all don't look that good. Y'all didn't look good against South Carolina, and th- these are humans voting for this shit. I think Indiana got did wrong, even though I get it, they haven't played nobody, but they playing who was on their schedule and they still undefeated. I was yeah, sure about to say, I'm, I'm about to say, but you corrected yourself. Go ahead. Notre Dame is Notre Dame. We're going to find out about them when they play Army. But my, I guess our real test right now is going to find out how good Georgia really is. I still have doubts about them. I just feel like it's a different team. They play Texas, which is a different team. They play Alabama. and it's, yeah, They look different every – it's a different team to play Kentucky. They look different every time. I don't know how consistent they can be. But we're going to find out this year when, when Jackson Dart put, put that pressure on them. I tell you what, Michigan is a different team. Here we go. Totally we different. Are, D, D, is the national champions right? No, nah, they not right. So it shouldn't even be in discussion then, huh? It really shouldn't even be in discussion right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm just making <laughs> sure. They garbage. But whoa, I, whoa, whoa, nigga, we ain't even that, bro. <laughs> but I don't like us being 11. I think this jinx, jinxing us because anytime we get like a favorable uh, ranking or like something, they start feeling themselves. So hopefully they don't go in there on their bullshit. They stick to the game plan. Run the football. We have two of the best running backs in the country, and you do not hear about the folks. Why? Because they're trying to put the ball in Miro. What, no, what we have jail in this country. The are you, one, you, you talk what? this this country that the like the U.S. Yes, like the United States. Yes, we have two of the best. Okay, the best so where do you rank these running backs, brother? Where you rank? Because you can't just say something. He like probably mean like the rank. top fifty running backs in the nation. Top huh? 10. Okay, call we him have out. two of the I'm top sorry. 10. Call him out. Genty number one. Genty number okay, one. Okay, yeah. And Trap running back is probably about second or third after that. No. But you, trap, two not. running backs is better than your running backs. Boy, well, you – That's, all, like, we that's all we got. That's all we got, D. Edwards, I give you Edwards. But Edwards I'm not giving – Edwards is not our best running back. 
But like I said, we have two of the top 10 like running you. backs, but they do not get any type of feature because we cause to have the ball in Miro hands. I don't know what's going on. I think he's just trying to do his Washington shit and not realize it. Like, my boy, you is in Alabama. You in the SEC, bro. We run the football. We run the football. Go back and pull the tape of them Nick Saban team. We run the football. Every time we win a championship, bro, we have a dominant running back. Mark like, what are you Ingram, talking about? Mark yeah. Ingram was yeah. not that. It was Julio. Y'all was throwing that ball to Julio like it wasn't nothing. So don't do that. He bombing that bitch. That's why everybody thought AJ was cold. Yeah. Correct. Nah, so let's I not do either. that now. But because of what? How was he able to get it down the field? Off of the play Julio. action, my boy. Nah. Play action. Oh, oh, who's yeah. that? Who's that? Cooper. He had Cooper. Get the fuck out of here, right. nigga. Man, this man. <laughs> what do we do? Yeah, Cooper's now. Time out. Y'all, oh, yeah. y'all Sigmas tonight, boy. Can we get a reset? Because y'all heart tonight. I need you to get something to hear. Tap in with me on the Heisman. What we man, looking like? Here, that's crazy. It's gonna be Travis. It's gotta be Travis. Such y'all feeling like Buddy can coach. What the fuck is Jalen Burrows doing up there, bro? Yeah, <laughs> come on, D. I don't even know what come on. Come on, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. Bro, you gotta stop. Stop hating, bro. Stop hating, bro. Hey, you gotta quit. Hey, until until hey, the finals, until the finals get announced, my man stays on the graphic. Quote the judge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He stays on the graphic until the finals. 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 Until <laughs> hey, 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 until the finalists Everybody are announced, Jalen Miro has a spot because at any given time he could turn back into Heisman winner Jalen Miro. Uh, no, no sleep because if he go down there and he blow LSU out the water, who's to say he's not back in the running? Stop. See, it. See, we done with that, bro. Yeah, in the back. Yeah, we done with that shit. Dude. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I want to say so for me when it comes to this Heisman. I'm first. I'm gonna let y'all know who I like, man. You know. How can you not like Travis Hunter, bro? He out here balling. I think he probably, you know what, the last two decades, he's the first player who won Offensive Player of the Week and Defensive Player of the Week, you know what I'm saying, in a season. Mm. That's pretty mm. amazing. That mm. Gentry goes without saying of how cold he is. But God damn, this nigga Cam Ward keep pulling it out his ass, and he keep fucking doing amazing shit. And I be sitting here Aye. every time, every week. Oh, it's a wrap. These niggas is done. And here go this nigga. Just I'm gonna be cold. <laughs> he playing ACC, so I can't give him no props. Dick, you oh. gotta cut that shit out, man. You just gotta cut that shit out. <laughs> you gotta cut that he shit out. ACC, man. so we don't recognize them. I saw we did the Florida State last man. year. So I you, be, hey, you better pray. You better pray y'all draft him, man, because he gonna kick y'all ass in the league. Just off this shit you talking right now. You gonna see a lot. Matter of fact, he gonna end up in your division. So y'all gonna end up playing him twice a year. You just keep on talking that shit and you won't get that man his props, dick. I ain't giving no cat that playing the ACC no props. We asking you no. who is your husband trophy What's the problem? They playing good. What's the Cause you trying to make a point still about Dion by picking Travis what? as your husband? Where I lied. You didn't say nothing about Travis being good. Your whole point was his coach is Dion. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. What's, what? Again, I'm confused at what you're asking me here. I'm asking who's the Heisman Trophy winner for real, legit, because they playing good, not because you want to say they coach is good. Oh, well, they it's, 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 it's the young man from Boise State, if we're talking about talent, it's Genty. So it, we ain't talking, Okay, I can deal so, with that. I told you I can deal with that. I'm with Genty. I, I think. Yeah, I can't. If it's just off talent alone, it's him, because ain't no way in hell you're supposed to be averaging 8.9 yards rushing. Ain't that level. shit unreal, man? That shit is unreal. That shit. That shit. He, he killed it. He killed it. No way in hell. Nobody's supposed to be doing it. Not today. That's foot. That is literally college football numbers. Those are the video game numbers. But then I be wanting to like, play nobody. But he did this shit against good teams. He did yeah, shit. I was just about to say, Trav, he's been doing this against some good teams now. <laughs> right. So it's just, it ain't All like right. he out here in the Sun Belt. Like me on this football game, he out here showing out. Yeah, so uh, that's who I got. But I'm going Travis. I'm going Travis, man. I know Ashton, Ashton gonna be number two, but I'm gonna go Travis because I just that just because of prime. You going? Travis? Nah, he, dude, he doing it both ways. What are you talking about? He making prime time plays both ways. I'm giving him that, man. With y'all, just come on, man. He is a player hit. of the week on you defense see and you? You offense. See? Go cool. You see you? The man is doing it on both sides of the. I'm just, 
we in one game he plays two games, bro. That shit is cold. Come on. Oh, what I'm, what I'm saying, you you were just giving good. you were just giving primes and, pro, and flowers earlier, right? Yeah, because he's a legit coach now. All right, then. So part of legit coaching is he putting Travis out there in the right position. Am I right? I mean, that's true too. But you still got to be able to deliver because I mean, I mean he's he's, call, he's calling the routes though. It's it's his plays that's going out there. But he doing it on offense and defense. He ain't, he ain't, called, he ain't calling the opposite team Ross. This nigga those are not. Now, I get the defense, but I'm just saying, at least on offense, those routes aren't Travis Hunter routes. He's just learning how to run good routes now. But you also got to give him his credit on defense for being a cold corner. Oh, yeah. yeah. But let's be real, though. You don't get the highs and off of being a good corner, man. Tell that to Charles. Charles, Charles, Charles wow. Charles. We're going to go all the way back go all the way to when back. I was fucking, what, five years old? Come on, man. That's wild, bro. Come on, child. Don't do that, man. I just watched the clip of Wilson getting moss, man. It looked terrible, too. That's Damn, like, bro. Man. Where this unnecessary hate come from, man? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So let's just not do that. Let's not do that. Let's keep it back to, like I said, man, normally DBs don't get no love like this. I mean, we just talking about the offense. And speaking of offense, those are not Travis Hunter plays. So, man, let's get some props to Dion. Oh, no, you got to get props to Dion. Dion played two games without him and one. We already know Dion is legit, so that's why I wasn't even. We had already established that in the last block. I'm talking about right now. Say, only reason I think Travis Hunter is out. Those two games might hurt him. Missing two games. Yeah. My point is nobody's talking about Boise State's coach. It's yeah. not easy to run the ball like that. It's, yeah, it's not, not easy to call up running. It's not, it's not always just, just like a running back. Just, just like when Michigan was running the ball like that, but it wasn't just about the running back. It was the coach. So we gonna it's move not, on. No, nah, nah, hold up. <laughs> Trap, no, that's not the same line though, man. Let's be real now. Some of the no, boys no, in the league not. now. No, we lost a lot. Yeah, come on now. It's not the same line. <laughs> hey, we are the Tap In Sports Podcast. Shout out to my guys. It's your boy, Mr. D. I got DJ Trap in the building. I got my guy, Goku. And I got my guy, Big Dex, on the ones and twos. So we're going to lead the NCAA football right there because you know what's back? We ain't even had a chance to rap about the NBA, baby. It's officially back. It's officially back. I just need to know what have y'all been seeing so far from the brand new season in the NBA? A lot of new faces, a lot of new places, a lot of different things going on. What are some of the things that you have been noticing in the NBA? Tap in. That, that, that guy dang Glenn Rivers is a horrible co- Hey, chill out. Hi, Rivers. <laughs> Hi, Rivers. <laughs> hey, hey, let me, let me, hey, Dex, what if I told you these Fred Pistons had more wins than the 76ers? More wins than the Milwaukee Bucks? Come on now, bro. Who you say? Detroit Pistons got more wins than the I mean, Milwaukee Bucks. In the 76. Bro, y'all got y'all got 18 lottery picks on one team. I, I hope y'all can win <laughs> somewhere. Oh, I think so. I, hey, so. I mean y'all need. That's yeah. crazy. Okay, I, I I dig that. You ain't saying that same thing about Portland. But y'all do got a lot of picks on a, a lot yeah, of picks. Picks. God damn. We got a lot of ass picks on the NBA. They don't want us to be great. How the fuck we Whoa, suck? Wait, wait, the worst they try to blame the NBA. Years. Y'all yeah. pass a lot of players. Can I, oh, hey, can I make my point, bro? How are we the worst team for three straight years? And we pick number five for three straight years, bro. Hold, hold up. Trap, can I rap with you real quick? Can I talk to you? Can we have an honest moment? Can we have an honest moment real quick? Can we have an honest moment real quick? Can we have an honest moment real quick? I'm listening. The Utah Jazz have picked behind y'all how many years? I don't know. Oh, okay. And they picked Rudy Gobert, Walker Kessler, Donovan Mitchell. And y'all picked who? They, this ain't this ain't the NBA hey, fault, my man. Dude, you start naming niggas. They picked a wild bet champions too, nigga. The fuck you talking about? You got no stars, not no legends. Y'all, you got to cut it, man. Rudy Ooh. Gobert's a legend? He a three-time He can't even player. play at the end of the game. <laughs> he got he a defensive player, man. Come on now, Trap. You, you, you used to drop the fuck out of Ben Ben Wallace, man. Now come on now. Give I claim. I claim he did. See, 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 he see, couldn't see, even see, knock see, the hell out of Draymond when he choked his ass out. Okay, and then let's let's move on to another team. You want to move on to another team? Let go ahead. The Boston Celtics. How many times did they pick that y'all? They got those from the Nets when they traded them old ass niggas to the Nets. What pick was Jalen Brown? I just want to know, what pick was Jalen Brown, bro? He was the third pick. He was the third pick overall. I just told you, we picked three. And we where picked were y'all? Every time. And where were y'all? In that draft? Yeah. You talking about in that draft? I told you yeah. we pick high, dick. 
In that draft, we picked, man, how far down are we? I'm sorry, who did y'all miss on? They uh, passed on Smart. Yeah, uh, I know. It's a few things. I'm just trying to get the uh, uh, Pascal Siakam came out of their uh -huh. pick. DeJounte Murray came out of their pick. Yeah. Murray came out of their pick. Uh -huh. Let me see I mean, who else. Hey, he, Malcolm Brogdon yeah, came out there. He played the NBA. It's the NBA. Mm. It's the NBA. Chuck, y'all been ball. historically passing on players NBA. like this. this shit wait, wait, wait. No, no, because Dex, Dex in here making – let's just be real, bro. We was the worst team for the last three years, and we couldn't get Wimby. You don't deserve no. Wimby. You got Jalen exactly. Durin, and y'all don't you even know what to do with him. We need Wimby, bro. No. Man, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. That's, all that shit's in the past now. We out here smacking the motherfucking Lakers. That shit over with. Moving uh, on. We beat Braun in front of his son. I feel so much better about that shit. I ain't going to ever lie, bro. We, really? we beat Braun in front of his son. <laughs> Braun been whooping us in front of his son. Braun been whooping us in front of his son for years. Man. He said, payback. He got a lick. Fuck, ain't it? He Damn got a lick in. That man got a lick in on a 40-year-old man. Oh, he want to go kick it. Think about it. Hey, when you think about it now, when Braun got to the league, what year? Oh, three. Oh, three was the Pistons' last championship. Shit, man. I'm talking about that man came in and changed that whole franchise, man. He did. Y'all ain't been the same since LeBron been in the league. That shit is crazy. Goku, if we want to be technical, I think we went to, what, five more Eastern Conference championships after that shit? I'm talking about finals. We talking about finals. Oh, my bad. We went to two more two more NBA finals after that shit? Just two more. Did you win? Two more yeah, after LeBron got, two more yeah, LeBron got drafted. You yeah. won after 04? Well, no, we, we, we won. He got in the league in 03, nigga. I said 03. Have y'all been to the finals? Cleveland team when Trim he got drafted in 03. Come on, man. Trim got a, Trim, you really going to measure what the fuck the Cleveland Cavaliers look like in 03 against y'all in 04? For real? Goku, uh, Goku, they didn't make the playoffs for another three years. <laughs> Goku, you got exactly. credit for all that. Exactly. Once, once, they, right. once they figured it out, y'all stopped figuring shit out. They only beat down. us once. No, nigga, our competition in the East was Miami. He's saying no. Don't you want to be he's, real, nigga? He's, he's saying no. Now, Trout, how many rings that man got since then? Since y'all in 2004? He didn't win none on that team. <laughs> yes, he did. Fuck? He won the one. Fuck? What he are we talking one. about? He got with Dwayne Wade and beat our ass, Goku. <laughs> bro, 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 hold up. <laughs> we beat y'all with Booby Gibson, Dasha Pavlovic, and Drew Good. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit you talk. About. I think that team he beat us with one Shaq on that team. No, Boy, Shaq they didn't have a hard about the same point guard trap. Y'all did. Shaq, Aaron Snow, about Aaron Snow, the nigga who took Iverson to the. F Never mind. Yo, I think about the NBA season now, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> I just want to say something about the NBA season. It's not this hating that shit they talk about. It's, can we talk about basketball now? We're not the hating that shit. Go ahead. Embiid's a bitch, right? Embiid. Joel okay. Embiid is a fucking bitch, bro. That's what I got so far out this NBA season. First of all, this nigga <laughs> comes around and says, you know what? I ain't going to play back to back. What the fuck kind of soft pussy ass shit is this, bro? You already don't play that much just to begin with. You always hurt. And now you want to sit here and say, "Man, we need you." I ain't gonna even. I ain't gonna even try to play back to back because I'm just bitch made, bro. That's some weak ass shit. Then on top of that, on top of you being a weak ass nigga and not want to play back to backs, you come out here and you press up on a fucking reporter because he complained about you not playing back to back. Don't bring up. Don't bring up nobody dead sibling and think you ain't been get. He rocked. didn't say I'm it in sorry. a bad way. All he said, all this nigga said was. Damn, you named your, you out here, you say you do it for your family, and you named your son. He didn't say nothing malicious about anybody in his family. That's your problem. You think it's okay to bring it up. I'm going to knock your ass out. Being said, do y'all think that load management is going to be one of the big downfalls of the NBA, or really don't matter that the superstars don't play back to backs? Well, you take LeBron off that picture, bro. If, do, if you don't take that, a 40-year-old man off the goddamn picture. I think load management, team team be, I think load management, is it going to be the downfall? I don't know if the NBA going to fall off like that but because the playoffs is interesting. But definitely for the regular season, think about this right now, bro. We forcing this topic about the NBA right now. It's not really nothing compelling right now that makes us want to talk about the NBA. You know, it's because these niggas don't want to play, and that shit's weak. You know, imagine me, not me, but imagine it's families out here. It's the only game they probably can catch this year. You know, they finally got the money. Hey, hey, hey. I'm tired of that excuse. If your broke ass can't go to nothing but one goddamn NBA game, then don't go to that motherfucker. Damn, bro. You hell. That's, I'm sorry. that's hey, crazy. Hey, work. hell. 
We talking about the twenty dollars too, now, Dick. I'm just saying she must be out there trying to catch her a player. And that's the reason why the players got single moms. Single moms got basketball kids, bro. Her son on, like man. basketball. That nigga want to see. That nigga want to see Joel baby? and B play. Yeah, he not he's sitting out back to back. Why your baby dad? Why your baby dad ain't taking these kids in these games, man? You hell, boy. You hell, Dick. You I'm hell. just saying, boy. You they, so they, you done screw you done screw the man. You done screw the man that won't even take your kids <laughs> to a basketball. What is this? Is no, that's all that shit, stuff, bro. I don't want to do that with myself as a grown man. And I'm not saying that the games didn't cost hey. me, but I was disappointed myself. You know what I'm saying? You bring the kids into it because you wanted to go see them folks. No, I'm just letting you know, like, that sucks, though, when you go to a game and your nigga, you. Is, the nigga you came to go see is, is sitting out there wearing Versace. Hey, sometimes you got to take pictures of the Versace. That fit ain't gonna be out there again. That's a one time wear only. My calm down. Yeah, my yeah. dick wilding yeah. boy. Like here go my, here go. Hey, hey, I don't mean no harm. I'm just saying, I used to bartend, right? And I bartended, and people came to the bar because I bartended. On my night off, motherfuckers used to always text me, why you ain't at work? Because I don't wanna be, goddammit. Don't tell me when to show the fuck up. This just wow. real shit. Man. And for people to sit at athletes and tell athletes, how dare you not show up to work when I showed up to see you? That's your fucking problem, not mine. <laughs> I don't give a damn, bro. That nigga get paid eighty million, bro. I don't give a damn if they pay them five trillion. If I'm not coming to work tonight, you might want to check that motherfucker schedule in the injury report before you pull your weak ass up and put them bitches on stubble. I'm not. That's crazy. Wow. I mean, I mean it's a job. what's the use when they're not telling you that the player not playing until 30 minutes before tip? So, I'm speaking of LeBron, they have dropped their last couple of. They're now four and four. They started out pretty good. Is there something that should be. Is, is, is this going to be a problem? Is this a losing no, thing? It's a, gonna, it's, no, they gotta, it's, they, come on, bro. It's their first season. Let them jail, bro. I'm right. just saying, it, it look, I'm just trying to make sure ain't no, <laughs> ain't mean, no problem starting to brew now. They, and they know they, they just they sit my boy. With two he, he, tonight. They, they just sit my boy. Go ahead. I'm just saying they didn't play with two starters tonight. So tonight, I knew that was going to be an L. Detroit was hot. Tim Hardaway Jr. must have found him a Sonic ring or a Mario Ivy. mushroom because that man could not miss. He don't get Ivy no credit, bro? Huh? Yeah, Jay Ivy was the one who would work. Was a hate crime. What Jaden Ivey did to Austin Reed was a hate crime. That was horrible. That we man, knew that, that man, not, he couldn't touch that man. Man, don't stuff. sit here and get Detroit all them damn flowers, man. He just got the ass with the shot. <laughs> well, like, Charlotte don't that. suck, though. I feel you, but Charlotte don't suck this year. Okay, so they, so y'all three and what? Three and five, they three and six. That is a hell of a rule. I mean, to say well, somebody don't the suck. They got half, they got twice as many losses as they got wins. No, is is Jock Bond still the Nets coach? Because whoever coaching the Nets apparently won't blood. Nobody nah. asked. Come on, Dex. What the f it's come on, Dex. It's been five games, bro. <laughs> they beating anybody ass. No, they yeah, out here whooping everybody. <laughs> For the most part, they beating up good teams. They losing the sorry teams, but they beating good teams. Don't sound like a good team. They sound like an AC. Sound like a Go team cool. you don't want to play in the Dex, all I'm saying is we beat the 73 and 9 Golden State Warriors twice. You feel me? But uh this year? This year? No, I'm talking about I'm talking about a bad team and we beat a good team. Don't make well, us not you, a bad team. Boy, can we boy, I don't know. Why we be going these trip down memory lane? Like, what was the subject about the boys about LeBron and four, Dick? So I don't know. I mean, that's it. Come on, now. They ain't even above 500. So that's, that's they on a road true. trip. They on this long road trip. The Lakers on this long road trip. And they just lost AD. You got to give them some slack, bro. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, who I'm not finna give no slack to is your boy, Glenn Doc Rivers, and what they got going just, on in Milwaukee. Should the Milwaukee Bucks be wary? What they got going on? What's that topic you like to talk about, D? Confidence or right? concern. They should be concerned, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> this, is all, I get it. This, this is a great topic to get on Doc Rivers. I get it. Great topic to shit on Doc Rivers and shit on Darvin Ham with, but this ain't they fault. Who fault is it? This shit is Giannis. How you say yeah. it? Yeah. This is his fault. Tupo. No, ass to two folk. This is his fault. <laughs> this is his what, fault. What, what you mean, Trap? So, this nigga last year, let's just go through the facts. Last year, they was what, 13 and 3? And Giannis said, this coach doesn't work out. 
he got to go. They got rid of Griffin. Because of who? Giannis. They ain't making that move without Giannis. They bring in Doc. Cool. Doc, Giannis said he won't help. They don't got enough help. So they went and got rid of everybody who could help him out to, to go get Dame Lillard. Dame All Lillard. this shit is Giannis' fault. And now Giannis is about to lead him. And he going to go to Golden State or fucking somewhere. What? Whoa. So you think after this year, Giannis gone? Yeah, he created a mess, and now he's not gonna stay there for it. What superstars do, right? All right. That's not what. Ain't that what Bron did? I knew it. I knew it. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew where he was going with it. Hey, get Tristan Thompson that max deal. Let's play Kevin Love, but I'm gonna go to LA. That's crazy. So, do you think that the Dame and Giannis combo that's a flop? Last year it did, but I mean it's running out. It's not working out now. The the defense played at the point guard position, man. It's it's piss poor right now. Like. Dame mm-hmm. is not doing shit, and nobody else is really doing shit. Like you said, they got rid of everybody that could do something. They got shit, Holiday used to hold it down out there, man. So now, right. it, yeah, they can't stop a nosebleed. They really fucking suck now. It, it, like Trap said, it's really collapsing, man. It's, it's it fucking around. It might be over. And then with Middleton hurt, you know what I'm saying? That's another weapon that they missing for sure, for sure. They really miss Chris Middleton yeah. for sure, yeah. right? But yeah, they need him. We knew this coming. Season though, I get it. They really mean don't draft nobody, but we gonna brag about Chris Millis right now. Oh, man. here he go. You gotta let you gotta let that go, Trap. Yeah, come on, Trap. Come on, Trap. Back to prove y'all wrong about this. But my whole point is, <laughs> my whole point is, y'all draft nobody. Is y'all don't keep nobody. There we hey, go. Hey, everybody ain't meant to be kept. You feel me? Mama told me that. But all I'm saying is this right here is we knew last year that Chris Millington was falling off, and we ain't get nobody to replace him. We ain't even gonna make no moves. We came back and we rolled. Pretty much, they pulled the Dallas Cowboys and they said we're gonna roll the same thing. Had to do got it. better. Everybody in the East went and got better. They just had to do that. Most definitely, that's gonna be something that we gonna stay tapped into. Like my guy Dick said, it's still early in the NBA. It's nothing really we can just get into. Find something to dibble and dabble into because we are the podcast with the barbershop vibes. We are the Tap In Sports Podcast. It's your boy, Mr. D. Still rocking with my guys. We got to jump into the NCAA. All right, so I need to ask y'all, what are some of the teams that you are watching this year? Tap in. I'm going to say this. Big Zay, all the way, forever. Uh, I'm going to say this. First of all, before we start this subject, let's be bringing up the Zags. Rest in peace to the Zags coach, son. Yeah, he's somewhere he's on the milk carton. <laughs> Cooper Flag is not bad. That's what mm. I got so far. I get it. They haven't played nobody. Play Maine, but he ain't ass. No, nah, he not. He decent. He most definitely is decent. But you, you, he it, you pretty much looking out for the same contenders. You know what I'm saying? You're looking out for the Blue Bloods like Duke, Kansas, and you can't forget about Kyle Perry's team out in Arkansas. Man, well, stop it. Fuck out of here. Talk about the same Calipari team who was struggling against Lipskin tonight. Until they finally... Come on, bro. Don't do that. they win, bro? Damn, don't they do win? that, bro. Don't do that, bro. Don't, they struggling, bro. Don't do that. Did they win? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they won, but last time I looked at it, they were struggling, bro. All I'm saying is, we look out for those teams, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we're going to keep an eye on the weaker teams like Kentucky and Michigan. And see wow. What bro, my thing is... Okay, that's cute. I like that you throwing shots at Kentucky. But I am very confident. I am confident in Mark Pope and what he is bringing to the table in Kentucky because we've had exhibition games, lower inferior opponents, and we blew them out, as we should. But in the past, we have struggled against inferior competition up on the Calipari. So that most definitely, I am confident. As long as we can beat teams how we supposed to beat them, I know it's too early, but when you can knock out the team that you're supposed to beat by 40, 50 points, you're supposed to stomp on them, that's what I'm looking for. Now they would they, they was, they ain't nothing impressive about this bitch, but they with her. Think about this. We having a whole conversation about Kentucky, and yeah, we ain't named their coach now one time because nobody... Nope, hope. it's too late now. You already gave your whole soliloquy. Hey. What you mean? I said his name as soon as I started. What are you talking but you, about? But you, you, you didn't say Kyle Perry about 30 times because you're no. over there watching. You're over there watching him like, I hope he ain't happy because I'm going to act like I'm happy. I hope he think I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's cool, Man, bro. It's so wrong with you, bro. You, you like, no. it, bro. Y'all going to miss Why? that. Why? Why would we miss him, bro? Why? And he can't make adjustments. Bro, stop it. That's because y'all, D, you over here drinking this Kool-Aid because y'all beating these badass teams. And now when y'all getting some real competition, and then you're going to see, damn, niggas is my thing, 
My, my thing is, Alabama, we, huh? we beat bad teams, but up on the Calipari, we got beat by bad teams. What happened? He went to a tournament. I'm pretty sure he did good, got to the first round. But with a new team, older veterans, that's what I'm excited about. No more young freshmen. We got some young freshmen, but they don't have leadership roles. You know so what I'm saying? So basically, I got niggas who can't make the league, who go there play college ball because they just not enough to make the league. So basically, we Gonzaga 2.0. So with Duke oh. win the NCAA tournament, y'all think Duke gonna win? Hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. They say they got the best Cooper flag, number one draft pick, unstoppable, unmatchable, unguardable. Why not? And yeah, they got another. Is. They got a nice little team over there. Duke don't know. I said win. what I said. They normally don't win when they had them number one draft picks, though. Y'all depressed that nigga is you. You didn't, great. You didn't. You didn't even say his name. You said, "Oh, y'all didn't have no coach back." This nigga made a whole song about the nigga. You missed that. Ah, uh, oh, man, stop it! Ain't nobody worried about him. Now, moving on. We are. They ain't got no coach now. Before we talk about that upper class freshman, what about the women? You already know Juju coming. So who yeah. you think gonna have a bigger year, Juju or Paige? I think it's gonna be old girl from Notre Dame. Uh, she ain't got a share. Yeah. Yeah, her die go. She ain't got a share. That is true. I'm going with the juicer. Oh, Juju. I think, yeah, I think she's going to be co- probably college player of the year. They need to go ahead and put it in the place where she can go ahead and leave after this year. Because what she I think she's going to do. Why would she leave, bro? She's making more money. Nothing else for her to do. But why would she want to take a pay cut to go to the WNBA? That's what I'm asking. Man, Ooh, makes a point. That is, that, hey, that is true. Man, makes a point. Might as well that stay and make money. In California, too? Why not? Easy mm-hmm. money. Right. At the house. At the crib. Yeah. At the crib. Literally. But uh, she ain't getting no better playing with them folks, bro. She is dominating. Like, dude, these, these ladies <laughs> are <laughs> clearly <laughs> not from a skill set, bro. Man, we know we don't. Hey, bro, we know we can whip on KBS. We can get better. The no, no, WBA players going to reach out and want to play with me and, and pick right. up shit. We can get better in the off season. Right now, I'm going to make this money. I can beat up on Kaylin and Angel and everybody else in two years. I don't give a damn. Give me my check. Yeah, get that money. I just wanted to see how y'all were feeling about the NCAA. It's going down, as always. It's your boy, Mr. D. Got my guy still rocking. We're going to go ahead and jump into my favorites. You already know what time it is. The vibes. Are you confident or are you concerned? You know what I do? I got my topics. We're going to talk about it. My guy's going to give me their honest opinion. Are they confident or are they concerned? So first up, are you confident or are you concerned? I just want to hear this. That... <laughs> Dallas can win at least two of their next five games. At least two. You, That's all we need. Just two wins. That's all we're looking for. You worse than ESPN, boy. Can Dallas win at least two of their next five you games? Worse, you worse than ESPN. Come on, man. Come on. Don't do it like that, bro. Don't bro, y'all like ass. That. Y'all quarterback said y'all ass. Y'all owner pretty much said nobody trying to win on y'all team. So I'm, I'm confused about why this is even a topic. Cause I need to know. You need hope, bro. You already know that. No. Why are you asking? He don't question? know. He need a question that you already know the answer. Hey, I need answers. I got questions that need answers. So the next five games for the Cowboys. Okay, we got the Eagles, the Texans, the Commanders, the Giants, and the Bengals. I got y'all next five. one of the last six. Y'all winning one of the next five games. I think we can sneak out another one. We can catch somebody slip. Yeah, no, don't say no, 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 so what we gonna catch the Eagles the Giants? Running the ball. The Eagles coming in running the ball with Saquon. The Texans coming in running the ball with motherfucking uh, with Joe. That, Nicks, you know, y'all, might, y'all got the Commanders. Come on now, Quinn ain't about to take it easy on y'all. And then you got the Giants. That's the winnable game. Then you got the Bengals. Hopefully, they'll be fighting for their playoff lives because everybody believes in the Bengals for some reason. That's what I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out why people still believe in the Bengals. Same reason why we still talking about the Cowboys. Cause they the Cowboys. That's why we talk about. Them. Stop it. Talk to me, Ju. What you feeling like? Yeah, the Cowboys can definitely win two of the next five. You gotta uh, stop. Uh, hold up, Dex. He asked me a question. Let me get my take now. Let me get my take. Start, start before you start yelling. Uh, I, I know you in a trap, y'all. Y'all, y'all in cahoots right now. I ain't, I ain't about to stop. And it is. And it yeah. is. But definitely out of the next five, man, uh, Dallas can beat the Texans for one who just lost to the Jets. Like you said, of course, we could beat the Giants. As always, I, I'm not sure if the uh, Giants have actually beat Dak himself. 
since he's been in the league. The Bengals is a winnable game, of course. It's in Dallas, so it's not in the cold. So, yeah, that, that's definitely a winnable game. One thing to look out for that you haven't seen in the past few weeks, for one, is Deron Bland does have a chance to return next week. We haven't seen him all season, so that's a lot of help on the backside, which we haven't had. We've been down to the fourth corner and the third fucking corner on the depth chart which nobody seems to acknowledge, but yet they still think they're playing the same data. For one, Marcus Lawrence, I think he's missed like, what, the past three weeks or four weeks or whatever. That was a big blow, but at the same time, man, when I looked at the game last week and I saw Carl Lawson out there, man, I got happy. I'm talking about when I just knew he was actually playing. Like, I got excited myself. And just to see him actually get back to those two sacks that he contributed in that game lets me know that the Dallas Cowboys defensive line is about to start waking up because whenever they somebody starts making noise, then here comes the double teams, here comes the pay, the, the attention. They're going to start coming up with their schemes to make sure they block the key guy. And hopefully our defensive coaches will start teaching these guys to win their one-on-ones. That's the thing with Michael Parson that, that took away from it is that he, he demanded these double teams and whatnot. So – it was on. It was upon the other guys to win their one on ones, and shit. He he hasn't been worth anything lately, and the guys haven't been winning their one on ones in particular. That interior took a dive because our defensive tackle went down in the beginning of the season. So it's not exactly the same team. But that's probably why Jerry Jones thought that the Dallas Cowboys could have the same production because it's some of the same players. But shit, we lost Sam Williams at the beginning of the season. He was supposed to be a key linebacker. So. It's, I'm confident that if, as the season progresses, yeah, man, we're we going to get better. Yeah, Next up, team. are you company <laughs> concerned, man? Let's jump back to the NBA real quick. Are you company <laughs> or concerned about Kawhi Leonard's future in the NBA? What's going on with Kawhi? I'm confident that nigga knees ain't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's over with, man. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, man. When a nigga go out there and beat the two greatest teams I ever saw with my own eyes, he years beat, ago, man. I'm just getting out there. I'm putting facts out there. He beat the two How greatest teams with that, bro? my own eyes. Come on, man. Hey, he had, had real knees back you. then, trap. Can, he can had I real knees. Point? I let y'all finish these weak ass. He got fiberglass knees. knees now. I'm saying. Why can you, I finish my point? Can I finish my point? I'm why saying. You he beat, because I'm about to make my point. He beat the two greatest teams i ever seen with my own eyes. He deserves, he, that's a lot to carry on your back. Your knees are supposed to be bad after you do that shit. You know, so he might be I'm, done with the I'm knees. just confused. I'm just Go saying, we're talking about Kawhi Leonard, and you bringing up Isaiah Thomas. Ain't that some shit? No. no. Oh, so Isaiah beat the two greatest teams you ever seen? You didn't even watch them. I like them. Huh? You didn't even see those teams. Didn't huh? He beat. They probably did see he those beat, teams. Yeah. He, yo, he beat the Lakers, and he beat that goddamn Joy nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Before he doing shit. No, we talking about he but he beat LeBron and Dwayne Wade. Oh, you right. LeBron is better than Jordan. My bad. Continue. Nope. His, his team definitely was. They got the ass beat. Oh, okay. So now it's the team, huh? Now it's the team. Oh, I said Kawhi beat the greatest teams. Trap, we on right. Said. Trap, we on right now, man. And we couldn't pay that motherfucker to come on. Even if he was mopping the floor, the man just went uh, out there. Uh, but we talking about right now. We are not living in his glory yet. What is he gonna do right now? I'm right. concerned as fuck, man. I don't think he even has a kneecap left. I'm honest with you. I think he got a knee scully by now. It ain't even a cap now. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that man crazy. You stupid. I, I just think I, I just made it make sense. How? I'm telling you why his knees are bad. Stop it, Trap. Okay. Nobody cares. We agreeing that the knees are bad though, right? That they're total. We need yeah, to yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> His knees are total at this point, Trap. Come on, Everybody man. Yeah, his man. knees total, man. Y'all Come are on, done. Man. Yeah, his knees are done. Man, man on brake pads. That's crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so it seems like Trap the only person confident in Kawhi Leonard's future in the NBA. I didn't say that. He ain't even confident. I, I said, man, I, 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 I didn't say that. that. No. Exactly. Trap hit that hard. I ain't say that. I ain't say that. If I do come back, though, it's going to be problems. Next up, are you confident or are you concerned Mahomes can continue to win without high production? Because outside of the last game, like Trap love to bring up, he killing it with the interceptions. They really garbage on the offensive side. But 8-0. This is the worst 8-0 team I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Boy. Wow. 
Yeah. I, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not. I thought Pittsburgh a few years back. They went ten. And I didn't like Tennessee was when they was undefeated. I think they got up to ten and zero or something like that with Kerry Collins. So I think that was the worst team. But I don't know how to answer this, man, because I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. That last game was was a testament of how good DeAndre Hopkins is and gonna improve to be. <laughs> so I see them having a good a good balanced offense now. I think they can run the ball. Kareem Hunt was a good addition to that team. I see things starting to click throughout the season at first. Yeah, he stunk it up. Like, Pat Mahomes is, is one of the worst quarterbacks. And the quarterbacks that's been better than him Boy, this season, it's astounding. They they getting so much hate trap, but I, I, I won't even touch down on that subject right now. But now that D-Hop is finding his foot, man, and you still got Travis Kelsey, and like I said, you got Hunt. And uh, Pete Ryan is not a bad uh, backup running back as well. And he's a good pass catching running back at that. And on top of that, he could he could provide some additional blocking for Patrick Mahomes with all these fucking circus throws that he be doing every fucking Sunday. So I think Patrick Mahomes is actually gonna get a little better. And we all know that defense is pretty solid anyway, and has has been the entire season. They got a great defense. And on third down, that's where the money down is. This team is the best on that. This is what they do. This is where they go. And that's what's making them undefeated. Yeah, they're the best in the league on the third down shit. And they yeah. got that shit helps out a lot. That is a major thing. Here we go. Yeah, I mean Mahomes so far. He go. He go. This why they win. He, he's gonna be straight this season. Be clear though. I just don't want to hear shit about him being in no fucking MVP rating. Uh, running this year. All right, last one. Are you confident or concerned the Steelers can win the AFC North? One hundred percent. I'm confident. Percent. I said that in the beginning of the fucking season. Beginning of the season, so Gary was I did on too. Doing all that fucking capping about Baltimore, man. I, I did too. That. I would say, is Baltimore not in that division no more? It doesn't matter, Dick. It doesn't matter. It really does. They beat them niggas last year with fucking who was their quarterback? Exactly. Now they got Russ out here throwing that bitch and a great defense. We got Russ that I'm not trying to run shit. Yeah, okay. Cooking. And we still got hey, and we still got one of the best coaches of all times in Pittsburgh. Let's not forget that, Dex. That man is doing his thing on offense, defense, and special teams. The Steelers are back. And I think that hey, the division is just straight. Let me get this straight, Dex. You think that the Steelers can't beat the Ravens, who just lost to Jameis Winston and the Browns. Don't disrespect Jameis like that, big dog, but hey, the Browns now. King Henry. King keep in Henry. mind, keep in mind, Dex, we beat the Browns now. Also, on the dog ass ass like ass a starter. James wasn't they got the their ass whooped by Jameis Winston now, Dex. Jameis wasn't the starter. He didn't even take reps. He just came in there. And hey, as a matter of fact, Trout, they beat these folks without Deshaun Watson and Cooper. Come on, we, come on now. This that's was like blood right receiver there. out there killing their ass. <laughs> That's cold that's blood right were, there. That's why they were crazy for the, uh, the Davis White. They had to get some Bro. help on the back end. They just made a big trade now, Dix. Come on now. You thought they was ready exactly. for the Steelers? Say it again so you understand what you just said. That lets you know that they were not ready. You said the Steelers so made they know the Steelers the, also the, got better too, Dix. It's not I like the only ones that made trades was the motherfucking wow. Ravens. I know y'all missed the earlier segment, so I'll come back to it. I said the Steelers had the best fucking midseason trade during this whole trade period right here. Uh, they solidified themselves on defense by going. To, they went and got another fucking edge rusher that's gonna help out TJ. So they oh, went yeah. and got old boy from the Packers, and they also went and got a wide receiver, Mike Williams. Perhaps you oh, they went and did. They went and did y'all job, honey. It was who y'all was supposed to go after. And we replace. got we got your cousin, bro, Zadarius. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> you like I, that? I, I hate that shit right there, boy. But <laughs> yeah. there is confident or concern for this week. We gotta jump into the next. The NCAA, my three key games of the week. You already know how we do it over here, Tapped In Sports Podcast. I got my three games. College first. Well, the first one I want to talk about, I got to talk about Georgia, Georgia. They got a Georgia. big one. They, oh, they, no. they headed to take on Ole Miss. Lane Kiffin, he like to fill it up. He like to, hey, he like to put points on the board. Who y'all got? Talk to me. Get him, Dick. Oh, uh, <laughs> We're going to win that one big time. You okay. already know that. Okay. We got Is it going to be a blowout or it's going to be a close one? Eh, I don't know. We in the Grove. It all depends on if we go party tonight. Before. I got Georgia winning this, man. I am not. I don't think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I, I think it's going to be a pretty defensive game, pretty close. Uh, I got the margin less than seven. 
But yeah, I, I got Georgia winning this. Okay, we got one oh, Georgia. We got two uh, Georgia. What you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I, as when long I'm as they can keep, as long as they can keep Ole Miss from running the ball, I got Georgia. When I look at a game like this, man, it's gonna be a tough environment. I don't have faith in Carson back. Give me Ole Miss, bro. We roll. Come on, man. I'm it on their wagon. They they on the road. You can't trust Carson Beck. And Ole Miss got a defense. See, oh, it yeah. don't matter. It don't defense, matter bro. if you can trust. Come on now. Y'all, y'all, y'all doing this like it's all about Carson Beck. <laughs> That's a whole team. <laughs> we talking about a Georgia defense. At the end of the day, he I how many throw last week that throw last week that yeah, yeah. Well, I forgot. I got amnesia because it was too it was I too think many. Still throwing okay. Them. Okay. That's Ole Miss. Yeah, how many points did they put up again? He can't do that against Ole Miss. Okay, okay. Huh? No, like no, I no. said, if, if Georgia can keep Ole Miss from running the ball, I guarantee you we're going we gonna to get on Dart's ass. All right, we shall see. We got two Georgia. We, we got two that. Ole Miss. It's going to go down. Make, make sure you tapped into that one. So the next one, I got my up, finally ranked. They're going to Texas Tech. All right, my guy. I said they could win seven games. So this is why I got this one. This could be our seven game, and it's against a good opponent. Rank 21 now. Who y'all got? You know I'm taking the buffs. Let's go buffs. You shouldn't even ask me. You know what my answer going to be. It's always man, the better. not say no damn Texas oh, Tech, man. Why, 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 this? Why, why? This? Because he ain't. They got right now. They don't know who they got. That you don't even give a fuck about his opponents no more, do you? Nope. I just, I'm going to always oh, pick the better. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. So you take it, Texas Tech, then. And man, that's crazy how you hating on my uncle like that. I'm in the D. I'd be, Who you got, I'd, be I'd be a fool to go against the Bucks. We Let's go. On me. We put them on our face. We rocked them bitches. Yeah. I'm a, uh, Tell them Texas Tech don't have no fucking defense, though, man. That's what I'm worried about. They can win based on the offense, but they don't have no defense, man. I think Hunter going to have a day out there. I'm going to go I'm gonna go with Colorado. Let's but, go. But, but, but tech is sneaky, though. They, they sneak. Say it's sneaky. They oh, sneaky. it's sneaky. <laughs> hey, and this last one right here is super sneaky because this is the loser leave town match. You got LSU and Alabama. Alabama is on the road, headed down. Woo, night game, LSU. It's going to be crazy. The loser got to leave town, not making it to the college playoffs. Fellas, who y'all got? Let's go. See, Death Valley, are you Bengals? Y'all ain't beating them. I'm sorry. Bro, don't do me like that, bro. I'm going to say this, man. Oh. Got a close game, Dick. Alabama. It's a close. It's a, it's a five point. Yeah. Alabama's coming in, man. Alabama got a lot going on right now, but they got an outstanding wide receiver. I really do fuck with that fresh. Merrill can always give it to them anytime. So with that being said, I'm going to let y'all know right now. What they say, Alabama? Roll time. Exactly. I'm going with LSU. Let's go. Wow. Hey, talk to him, Trap. Wow. <laughs> okay. I like it. I like oh, it. Is, is it my turn? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to roll with LSU too, man. I think LSU got a good brain game and whatnot. Their offense is on point, and I think they got enough defense to stop Alabama. So I'm gonna go with LSU as well in the valley. Yeah, not yeah, it's over with for y'all, D. This may be y'all third loss. Let me go to the big screen, man. All right. So, first of all, y'all gallus fucked up. I just want y'all to know that y'all gallus really fucked up out here in these streets. Okay, so if you think. All right, we finna get our ass kicked. Y'all might be right. I just think y'all gonna lose. I'm the ass kicking is optional. Yeah. No, no, no. As much as I don't want to go with Alabama, I cannot get myself to say we gonna lose. But I'm pretty sure we, we might. We probably gonna lose. Hey, don't like, be, bro. This so. is a LSU, bro. This might as well pick our y'all too if you go pick LSU, bro. Now, what you talking about? Auburn is not on the same level as LSU trap. Stop that, dude. Yeah. Stop it. But I'm saying they're, on, they're only allowing 220 and 29 yards to, to quarterbacks now, D. So Miro is going to have to do it on his feet. And to be honest, I trust him on his feet more than with his arm. In this game. Bro, y'all just lost to, y'all just lost to Tennessee. I don't want to hear all that. I trust him with his feet any day more than I trust him with his arm. Because if you let him jump out on you, you're not catching Jalen Miro. Stop it. He counts Chris. You're not catching him, period. So, opposed to him having to try to hit 
Brian Williams down the field or on the slant or something, and the ball popping up and ricocheting and interception. Yes, I would trust his feet over his arm any day. I see the majority of his throws outside the pocket. The majority of them. And, 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 in, in other words, in other words, many quarterback pressures. I don't see him running the ball like that. He, he gonna have to. That's the only way they gonna win. If if he don't have at least seventy five to ninety yards on with, with his feet, they gonna lose. They gonna lose okay. the show. He, he gonna have at least seventy five to ninety yards. Okay. And yeah, yeah, you yeah, think yeah. that's just easy? You think quarterbacks are just running the ball easy on, on LSU? If you, bro, this is Jalen Miro, bro. You know how he is, bro. He is more fear as a running back than a quarterback, Ju. Come on, you know okay. this. Okay. You know this. Which means they're going to prep for that, man. The, the pass game come next, so they just going to prep for the run game. So hey, would I be man. wrong if I said, would I be wrong if I said I think LSU quarterback might be better? Yeah. Okay, so with that being yeah. said, we just going to leave NCAA yeah. for these niggas is smoking, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Nussmeyer hey, is better this, than Miro. With that being right. said, Bama about 40. Fuck you talking about on the road, Death Valley. Next, I got my key matchup for the NFL. The first one, I want to jump off Thursday night game. We got Cincinnati versus Baltimore. What y'all think? So first off, I just want to say, the Bengals with picking up that running back from Chicago was a good pickup. He ain't been used that much in Chicago because they haven't been using him all year. So I think that's a really good pickup for them. And I think Joe Burrow's having a hell of a year. But we coming off a short week. And off a short week, you know what you don't want to do? Tackle Derrick Henry. And, <laughs> hey, it's about to be a lot of Derrick Henry in this game, bro. I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. All right. Who up next? Baltimore Ravens. Again, like you said, Derrick Henry running that bitch. Very much so. Are y'all yeah, confident yeah. they actually gonna get a ball to Derrick Henry? Because it seems like for some odd reason, whenever Lamar has to go against another top tier quarterback, they want him to try to match with that other quarterback. Does. You ain't doing that shit. Well, you mean, you mean they want other quarterbacks? They don't like matching Lamar. He might be he going crazy, bro. Uh trap. You you do you know the stats from the last game? From when they played each other, then Lamar throw three of them things? Yeah, you know a Burrow throw too, right? I just said LeBurrow's having a good good year. No, but I'm just saying you talking he's like Burrow's matching Lamar. Shit, Lamar's matching Burrow. No, no, Burrow's definitely trying to match Lamar. Come on, he got three, he got two MVPs. One one don't. Come on now. Okay, how many times uh, Lamar Jackson has thrown for five touchdowns this season? I don't know. Okay. I'm Burrow, he had Burrow to. did it twice. So because so, Burrow have to. Okay. So what is what how, so this one particular game he did throw multiple touchdowns. Which means he had to actually come up to Burroughs level. You think it's no, all they on, decide on, not on to, him? They decide, they decide not to beat them upside the head with, with, with Derrick Henry. Okay. All right. All right. Who got who now? So we got a Baltimore. Everybody going Baltimore? Anybody going Cincinnati? Yes. No. I want to go Cincinnati. It's, it's, I'm going to go Cincinnati. Come on, Shiesty. What my boy yeah, say? The Shiesty. The Shiesty. Oh, jump up there. Out there. Hold up. Hold Bless up. Hold up. Hey, I was the one that said they was going to start winning games. All right. The next one. We got Philly and Dallas, man. I just want to see who they going to bring out at quarterback. What's the deal? Can we actually sneak them? Come on, Or is dude. it just more, more of the same? Is this shit going to well, be on TV? Dope or dog yeah. food? That's what we on. Dope or C dog food? CBS is going to be on TV, bro. It's an NFC game, and they put this shit on CBS. That's how ass this shit is, bro. Chill out, bro. They wanted Romo to call it. Probably did, yeah. Yeah, this is yeah, Romo I mean, special Romo, right Romo. here. Hell, yeah, they might D, try to Romo. call him out the booth. I'm, I'm sorry. What's, D, this is getting what's sad, bro. D, this is getting what's, sad. What's the ad about? Ask about it. Bro, y'all. Okay. Wide receiver or a quarterback. I don't know why he even. Fuck all that. They can't stop the run. I just, I'm just trying to see. Maybe we can get, we can sneak I'm trying back. to see what's, what's so ass with the, uh, this. Y'all y'all blew us out? We could have. Nope. We just took our yeah, exactly. game. I'm just talking about, well, was it me. not? A, ask me. Was ask it me. Was it not? Okay, Chad, that's one game. That's one game. Okay. Okay, what, 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 what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, even though people is running the ball and whatnot, it still was a competitive game. The Eagles haven't blown everybody else out. It can still be a good fucking game. I don't, honestly, I don't think the Eagles play anybody good, including y'all. And I think, all right, so that still sound like a good game, then, right? No, it don't sound like a good game. Only reason I'm gonna tell you why this game gonna be good is because the Eagles coach he go he gonna make sure. 
that he fucks this shit up some kind of way to make this game close. Who outside, you take? outside of that, there's no chance. Saquon Barkley, oh my. Since it's going to be a close game, who you take? Pick them. Who? Who, me? Yeah. How about them Cowboys? Oh, you already know. I got them boys, man. That's we there. sneaking one out. You never get the Eagles to satisfaction. Y'all so fucking. I got them style. boys, man. What I saw them do to the tush push last week, you know what I'm saying? They really made the Eagles change their play calling. Like, but they, this ain't y'all, really though. They was ripped. Hey, look, this is what the Eagles do. They run Jalen Hurts. That's what makes them valuable. That's what actually makes them look good. So, last week, he wasn't doing it like this. Hey, we, we can do that. We can do that. No, like I said, hey, like I said, look out for that boy Carl, Carl Lawson. I'm telling you, he wreaking havoc. I saw it, Trout. Defense look out for is, that Barkley. Defense I, is hey, trending. I can't do hey, before, hey. Was that not the play of the year? Low key it was, but we ain't talking about yeah. that though. We ain't talking about that uh, though. We talking about the Cowboys. And he hurdled backwards over. Yeah, that, that that shit was cold. We ain't That's talking cold. about that though. We talking about the Cowboys right now, my boy. Matter of fact, we talk your team right now because we already know it's two and two on the Cowboy Eagle game. But this last one I want to see, we got Detroit versus the Houston Texans. Now this is gonna be a money game right here, ladies and gentlemen. What the Detroit fuck is this the money the game? What you mean, y'all on the road against a team that is actually competitive? They don't lost. I know the they ass. Oh, so now CJ in Houston is ass. Really? Stop it, Trap. Yeah. I thought St. changed about CJ. All right, Trap. All right, y'all Trip. tripping, bro. Right. Let me finish, bro. Right. No, 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 y'all not about to do this and act like y'all ain't been watching these niggas since that Michigan man went down. What have this offense been doing? They struggle. Run the ball. <laughs> Everybody struggle. Every game. I feel like Michigan just came on two games ago. Every game. Nah, okay. Every he got game. he got four this season. Tell him to do that against us. He got four this season. I think that I, mean, I, I think he got three straight. You can I'm be the next. Sure they still have go, a running go. game. That's cool. Go cool. They can run it all day. I'm cool with running it all day too. Okay, well, let's Eventually, do it. Eventually, they got to score though. We are a high scoring team. You gonna have to let's score. Let's do this. All of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, the Texans can't score. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. You tripping. Like so who y'all without act? Hey, hey, Nico? hey, hey, act like you didn't see Tank Dale open that field up last. You know what I'm saying? Act like you didn't start seeing Dog Schultz get down the field. They got other weapons. Now, this is the same Texan team that was firing that bitch off last season. Did they win? Did Nico Collins play the whole season last season? He played most of it. Yeah, most of it, which means he went down. And he was. They were still firing on all cylinders. Am I, am no. I right? Yes, they were. Yes, no. they were. Yes, they were, Trout. Come on, man. You don't want to give Tank Dale his props. I don't like that, man. Get a little man his props. I fuck with you Tank like, Dale. You like little receivers. I'm not getting I, I, that right I now. fuck with Tank Dale. I don't fuck with that. That's boy. what I'm saying. Where's all this blasphemy coming from? No, this is just a fact. The quarterback been ass since Nico low. CJ, hey, CJ Scroud for four touchdowns. Ooh, and the dub. You going to yeah. give him a dub? I give, yeah, I give him a dub. I give Let's him, go! Hey, I give him a dub. Let's fuck that go! I give Let's him the dub. Go. Dex, you give him the dub? No, you don't give him I give him, yeah. I'm oh. going Detroit. I'm going Detroit. Right, get your ass out of here, man. Yeah. Here we go. Man. Wait, do y'all, wait, 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 or y'all saying this shit because y'all just like, man, we just want to say something funny and hopefully Travis get a reaction out of this shit. <laughs> man, ain't nobody okay. thinking about you. Okay. We say okay, it. I'm, really, I'm saying this because I think y'all do for a law. So Now we, we do for a law. Yeah, say that, say that, say that. Y'all do for another law right now. Y'all we got the, the second cheese, longest so, win streak you know. in the NFL right now. We just we do for a law. Hey, you say y'all got the what? Say that again, Trap. The second longest. Oh, who got the first, though? Who got the first? I don't know. I guess that nigga got all them picks. You hey. know his name. Say the man name, Trap. You know his oh, name. Oh, pick my home. His motherfucking name. My, my, my ass. ass. That's what his name is. Magic. Money. So, Showtime. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. When it comes down to this game, we're back inside of a dome where we play majority of our season. At. We only got three outside games, by the way. We only played one on my race. So we're back inside of a dome where we could just sit there and plant and just go. We're about to hit these niggas in the fucking mouth. Love let, let y'all off the hook last week. Man. I don't know what yes. he was doing. Man. I don't know Man. what Joy Love was doing last week. Man, he let y'all off the off the hook. Yeah, he was hurt. That's all that was. He was hurt. Yeah, he was hurt. What about last year? Okay. Did he beat y'all last year? Yeah, he did beat us last year. Okay, later I was just I, I, I thought so. I thought he beat. He, exactly. he didn't beat us like he beat y'all, but he beat us. It don't matter. Yeah, but he yeah, beat it y'all. don't matter. We beat him too, though. Him. Okay. We beat him too. Okay, you play them twice. That's our show for tonight, gentlemen. Hey, another great show we have. 
Hey, covered a little bit of everything. Anything else before we get ready to get up out this thing, brothers? Talk to me. Rise up. Man, stop this shit. I just want to say, I just want to say this. This is a great season. I, I'm proud of it, the Detroit Lions, man. And I'm proud, I'm proud of this podcast. We're doing great things, you know what I'm saying? And if you ever need to get your mind off all that political shit, come here and fuck with us. Yeah, yeah. No politics. What yeah. you got, June? Go get it. Hey! Yeah. Bama is back this week. Oh, Dub and LSU. Patrick McHolmes going to 9 and 0. Oh. And as I always say, live your life. Never let them live it for you. Bang. Let's go. Yeah,